Frankenfurter, it's all over. You missed Stop talking. Is a Stop failure. He's very excited to be in a video again. It's time to pack the movies. Today, we're talking about tapes with Tony and Newt and Crystal. Talking about tapes. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello, Crystal. Hello, Newt. I'm back. I know you were in an episode a few weeks ago, but that was one we filmed a few months ago. This is, so this is your first episode back. Yeah. Since your face fell off. Hey, so it's my face fell off. Uh, fresh from the Betty Ford Clinic. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. So I wanted to thank everyone for the well wishes and the nice comments. Even certain parts of Reddit that usually say mean things about us were very nice about it. Uh, yeah, basically, when we were shooting with uh, Clayton in July mm. for the Jurassic Park episodes, I started getting very angry. So I woke up on Friday the 13th in August, and the left side of my face was completely paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah. So I was too self-conscious to come mm. on camera, except for Patreon. And you could see one episode when I was really creepy-faced. And I, I handled it pretty well, I think. I think you did. Like You couldn't even notice or mm -hmm. anything from your reaction. Hey, everyone, let's do a map. Oh, my God! <laughs> so you're done fucking crying? You Please! Oh, oh my god, geez. every time I talk to you, it's like, are you making fun of me because I have Bell's palsy? It's because I have Bell's palsy, right? So we got bigger problems, guys. Yeah. What? The store is surrounded by werewolves. What? Where? There. They're wolves. They're wolves. They're werewolves. Oh. <laughs> uh, or as Italians in Arizona would say, werewolves. Werewolves. What? Uh, yeah, so there's werewolves outside the, the store. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh. It's it's a problem. It's mating season. Oh. And the werewolves were like, where can we mate in private? And then they saw how bad our Ginger Snaps episode underperformed when they were looking up werewolf movies. And they're like, oh, there. No one's going to bother us. So we have, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eight out of ten. Thank you for that, Chris. Anyway, uh, we have werewolves outside the store. The good news is. I've got a uh, exterminator coming at some point. Oh, good. So they will be taken care of. But right now, there's just rampant an werewolf sex. exterminator is going to take care of the... Yeah. Is that... Oh. Yeah, I hired an exterminator. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyway. You know they oh, did they're that too. fucking on my car. Let them be. Yeah. So I saw all these werewolves, and I'm like, well, let's talk about a werewolf movie people have actually seen. The Howling? Oh. No, uh, American Werewolf in London. Yeah. yeah, and you know it's a Halloween season. Let's do a whole monster mash. And when we think of live action things that put all our favorite monsters together, we clearly think of Mummy Cop. But today we're going to talk about a different thing, and that is 2003, 2004. Four. Van Four. Helsing. Guess what? That was a monster mash that was not a graveyard smash. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you take all of my favorite. Universal mm. monsters. You take yeah. a sexy Kate Beckinsale. You take a sexy Hugh Jackman. You get beautiful sets, and then you throw it in a dumpster fire. And you get Van Helsing. Yes. Yeah. It, uh, st it was directed by Stephen Summers. Stephen Summers, who at this point did two Mummy movies and seemed to have learned yeah. nothing from the second one's uh, problems. How the fuck and did just the first hey, hey, two the second one made a effects. boatload of money, but he would he doubled down on all the mistakes yeah. he made. He's like clack, 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 clack. It, it's and it's funny that Hollywood hasn't learned from this because then they did Dracula Untold, which was supposed to start a shared universe, and then they did The Mummy, which was supposed to start a shared universe. Dracula Untold at least could have been like a cool Castlevania prequel. Mm -hmm. Maybe, but then they went back and they added stuff yeah. to make it a shared universe. And like, they didn't learn from this. It's like, hey guys, slow down a little bit. I don't understand. Yeah, because, all right, this movie is a universal film. Yes. Mm -hmm. It has tons of callbacks to the universal films that we love. Yes. yes. I know the, the you know, the Lugosi and Lon Chaney Jr. and Sr. and mm -hmm. Boris Karloff and yep. Carl Lemley headed monster movies like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Yes. Why is it so fucking hard <laughs> to make these things? Like, Abbott and Costello not, is the last right. time that this <laughs> thing worked. Well, I mean, Mummy Cop. It worked to Mummy Cop. Yeah, but who's seen that? What's Mummy Cop? Keep going. No, it's from the same guy who hasn't seen Swamp Zombies too. So. Oh, screw that guy. Yeah, right? Yeah. Keep going. Okay, no, you know when it worked? Monster what? Squad. Monster Squad. Yeah. Great. Monster Squad is great. Monster Squad yes. is a great movie. Mm -hmm. I like Monster Aged Squad. perfectly. Wouldn't change a thing. No. Love it. Yep. Um, yeah, no, I, I was hyped for this. I, I was hyped for the, I'm a little younger than yeah. you. Yeah. 
And uh, Chris, were you born yet in 2004? No. Okay. Uh, so coming off the back of the Mummy movies. That young. The Mummy movies, and I was a big fan of Universal Horror Monsters and whatnot. I was like, this is going to be fucking great. Hugh Jackman Wolverine's in it? That's going to be awesome. So, so he did yeah. the he did the first X-Men movie. Yes. Then he did that movie where he like traveled back in time in a romantic comedy. Kate oh, Leopold? Uh, Kate Leopold. How the fuck did I remember that? Yeah. He did yeah. one with Ashley Judd, too. I forget what it was called, though. And then, so this was made while they were finishing X-Men 2. So this was really before he became like a big Oh, is that star. why at the end of X-Men 2 he has a horrible wig? Yeah, yeah. which is X-Men fucking two hilarious. X-Men is so much better than this movie. Oh, X-Men 2 is the du- best it's X-Men so movie. so good. Yeah. How the yeah, fuck X-Men was that better than most around movies. the same time? I don't get it. Because this is post The Matrix. Uh, yeah. Well, post the first Matrix, yeah. 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 So... It has that look to it of like th- studios who go, this thing made a lot of money, but they don't understand why it made a lot yeah. of money. So they're trying to do, and then they go, oh, we did all the CGI and the rock looks so good in the mummy returns. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, yeah. I, 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 I can't even say I hate this movie because I had to remind myself that this movie existed. Yeah. I, so my initial thing was I, I was hype as hell. Yeah. And we're going to talk about how they hyped this movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, they they were banking a lot on mm-hmm. this. Um, and I remember seeing the film and just being horribly disappointed, but not like angry. I'm like, ah, I fell as- w- I fell asleep. Don't tell the rest of that story. It's not safe for YouTube. <laughs> you know, just I knew just gonna save us all a lot of time. You told me that story earlier. You told me it too. Let's let's skip over that story. Um, but yeah, so I walked out just like miserable. Yeah. Uh, and then I also kind of forgot about it until months later mm-hmm. when my dad and I went to Chiller Theater in New Jersey. Ooh. And he signed up for some contest they were going, and we won the raffle, and we got. The Van Helsing prequel. Well, do you remember the we, Van Helsing movie? Yeah, the Van Helsing comic book and a Van Helsing T-shirt. My dad was so excited. He's like, look at all this stuff we won, and I was like, Dad, the movie kind of sucks. Do you remember we were up at that uh, costume shop that was going out of business? Yeah, and they still had the glaives. Did they really? No. Yeah, I have this in my notes. I worked at Party City for a bit, like years after this came out. Yeah, those fucking glaives were in party stores for a while we were i don't know why anyone didn't buy it like take the movie out of it they were kind of cool like toys you can make like a crawl or like blade you know i have i actually have the uh sideshow collectible blade 2 glaive (laughs) yeah it's it's in a box somewhere yeah so we'll get into the whole gene bondy aspect of this i didn't see it though until last night i remember it was a thing oh you never saw it before Mm. I knew of it. I didn't really. No. You know what? I, I, I always was told not to watch it. I will and say. I was like, okay. And then last night I was like, fuck. I actually have to watch this. So last night after working like an 18 hour day, and I was like, all right, it's about Moss. I'm going to give it. Da, da, after we jump. No, I don't want to fucking hear it, Mr. Da, Sympathy da, Boy. Da. Calm yourself. <laughs> Both of you. No, but after working really long, I was I like, okay, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to fucking. Paralyze the other side of your face. All right, keep yeah. going, keep Go, going, keep going. Wow. Oh my goodness. But yes, I was so exhausted. I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to actually probably enjoy this because I like a lot of shitty movies and maybe it's just fun. Maybe it's just fun. No, it wasn't fucking fun. It wasn't fun. It wasn't exciting. It was stupid. I, I'm in the other direction. Like, I, I guess because I was so let down the first time. Mm-hmm. Whenever I do watch this movie, and it's rare, I watched it last year for some reason. I think I was like, ah, you know, I've been a while since I've seen it. Yeah. Every time I rewatch it, I kind of like like it a little bit more. It's more fun the more you watch it. You, there's dumb. It's still bad. It's still dumb. But I get enjoyment out okay. of certain scenes Paul more said, and more. In the other room. Yeah, he said he Paul likes it. Paul goes, fun. oh, I like this movie. Oh, there's like a. It's just fun. It's gotten like a mini cult following, which is fine. But they did not want a mini cult no. following. They wanted the next. Yeah. So well, this there's... is that period where everyone was looking for the next something and this i think this falls into the next james bond but with like an edge you know they were doing tomb raider and all that shit and there's a lot of james bond in this like what if it was james bond but with monsters that's what this is that would be a cool car i love the concept of it i really really do i don't think it was executed properly and Mm -hmm. if you're what you're saying is true where you watch it more and more I hope so, because I ended up fucking buying it on amazon what's the oh i rented it what what it was one dollar more to buy guys guys it was on Peacock. I don't have, have Peacock. Peacock. Peacock is free. No, it's not. It's not. 
you know, you can pay for an upgrade of plans, but a lot of their stuff is free with ads. And he owes I us, had no he owes idea. Us both five bucks. <laughs> you rented your shit. He owes you four. Oh, I and I also own the movie, but it is on Peacock. Mm -hmm. You could have watched it for free with sure? ads. Yeah. Well, no, I did watch it on Peacock I actually because. My my girlfriend, she wanted to watch it in the one living room where there was no Blu-ray player because mm. we can't find our goddamn Blu-ray remote since we moved. So I'm like, fine, it's on Peacock. I'll cast it to the TV. And, and you could upgrade to Peacock so I didn't get ads. You but couldn't you guys just get up. Ads. You couldn't just get up from the sofa and press the button. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, because like modern Blu-ray players, they're like weird. The like only sometimes thing, the play button won't play them. It's annoying. The only thing this movie did give us was the uh, Universal Films on DVD. Yes, let's talk about that real quick. <sighs> Ooh, yeah. So this is the first time, according to the back of the box, this is the first time these a lot of these movies were released on DVD, and it was like the full yeah set. Oh god damn it, wrong way. The box set, <laughs> the full set. Yeah, you though you said it didn't come with them. My box set came with little uh, busts. Like almost Randy Bowen style I think some busts. of them did. I also might have gotten this at like a secondhand thing. Okay. It's possible I got this on a secondhand thing. But yeah, it has every, like the, for example, I have Dracula. Uh, Dracula, Dracula with the Philip Glass score. Mm -hmm. And then you have all the sequels and it even included the Spanish version, which yeah. I always heard the about. The Spanish version is better, but it only suffers from not having Bela Lugosi. Their yes. Dracula is less charismatic than yeah. Lugosi. And, they've, and it's yeah. got like documentaries and stuff, mm -hmm. and they've since re-released these. I just bought uh, updated DVD sets. Yeah. I have like the first of every one of those movies on Blu-ray, mm -hmm. and then just because it was cheaper, I got like stuff like this, but like smaller packaging. While I was writing Planet Frankenstein, I wound up re-watching everything on those discs again, just to get a whole bunch of little Easter eggs yeah. and shit like that into them. Because, yeah. uh, when it comes to the Universal movies, it's always Bride, James Whale's Bride of Frankenstein that is the and better Creature one. from the Black Lagoon are my two mm. favorite, like in my probably top five favorite horror movies ever made, you know? Oh, out of the Universal, it's definitely, well, a little biased. Yeah. I really like The Mummy and Dracula. Mm -hmm. So, like Daughter of Dracula. It's a very good one. That's a very Daughter good one. of Dracula is super yeah. underrated. Way better yep. than Son of Dracula. Yeah. The only thing Son of Dracula gave us was the Alucard thing. Yes. Which I... Uh, the son of Dracula, who might also just be Dracula, mm -hmm. uh, he tries to disguise himself, so he calls himself Alucard, and it's Dracula mm -hmm. backwards. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like Nobog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Which yeah, 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 which yeah, 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 uh, Castlevania, Castlevania took, did. Monster Squad took, mm -hmm. and season two of Mummy Cop, because we killed District Attorney Dracula in the first season. He, keep, he keeps talking about this thing that we've never heard of. So I'm in the well, second season, mm -hmm. there's District Attorney Alucard, and everyone thinks it's Dracula. But it turns out to just be a guy who looks exactly like Dracula. Spoilers. You're so proud of yourself. I'm you so know what? proud I of myself. That. I'm so proud. Because every other every other one, it's always Dracula. You know, I'm like, I'm gonna be different. It's whole, just a guy. The not whole even time vampire. that I was in pain, it was your joy that pulled me through and brought me joy every day. Like I said, a lot of hype around this. Yes. Mm -hmm. There was so much they invested. They I remember reading in magazines. Fucking, they were spending so much money keeping the Transylvania set intact. They're going to do a TV show. They're going to do a TV show, yeah. spinoffs. The TV show sounded awesome, though. It did. That it was a Wild West sheriff yeah. going to Transylvania. All of these ideas sound awesome. It's just how it's executed. The idea like, of the movie itself the original, sounded awesome. The, the TV show sounded awesome. The original trailer it. was cool. The original poster was cool. Mm -hmm. But then they started putting out where it's just gunky fucking every character is just all yeah. over the fucking thing. You ever see the Days of Future Past poster? Yeah. It looks like uh, it looks Professor, like Professor X, X is shitting farting. a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that. Like, look how fucking loaded this DVD is. Like, this wasn't just a regular movie. Every movie had like a video game tie. Yeah. Right? They were so confident in this. They like worked with the game developer. And if you put this DVD in your Xbox, you can play the first level of the goddamn game. Uh, you want to hear us about some of the other special features ahead, on this? Lay it on me. Through an innovative 360 degree self guided tour, discover the stunning environments of Van Helsing that you couldn't see in theater. So you can look at all those nice sets that you the like. The sets are beautiful. Yes, uh, they have a whole thing on how they brought the monsters to life. You're terrible, in the movie. Terrible CGI. Experience movie making magic through miniature cameras on the set that give you the actors' perspectives on filming a scene. Holy shit! They got a lot in this. Uh, yeah, they never, sh they didn't show Frankenstein a lot in the trailer, and the I think only that makeup in the entire fucking movie. Yeah. Like it's like you go, <laughs> oh, we have these beautiful creatures that Jack Pierce created back in the day. I know. Let's give him, let's make Frankenstein look like, I mean, Frankenstein looks okay. The monster looks okay. Frankenstein's Ex fucking 
awful in this movie. I think no, so. the character's awful. His I, makeup I is like okay. His, I don't like his makeup. But it's funny that his head looks like Bill Mosley in, in Ch- yeah, Silent like Night, Deadly Night 3. Yeah. No, Silent Night, Deadly Night 3. Oh. With the electric shit. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. And before we get into this, uh, Michael Bay was going to drag this. And yeah. you know what? I think um, it would have been more memorable with Michael Bay. I think it would have been too. Steven Summers is also schlocky, but he's kind of like, his stuff is so entertaining, he, with the exception of this. And G.I. Joe. No, but G.I. Joe was entertaining. And The Mummy Returns. But that was very entertaining. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, his movies I entertain me enough, like, even if I think it's bad, like, I don't get angry. Whereas, like, Michael Bay movies, you're like, what the fuck is it? But when you go and watch a Michael Bay movie, you're just like, it's just going to be explosions. Well, now you will. Well, at yeah. the time, well, it's like, time, come on, this yeah, guy sure. made The Rock. Make something good like The Rock again. He just was There's not. There's two things. Michael Bay went to um, film school in a fireworks factory. Yes. And he has the racial sensitivity of a 1940s Disney animator. So oh he's God. off to a good start. Yes. <laughs> so the movie starts. Yeah. Yeah. In black and white. Hey! It's alive. It's alive. Yes. Which I really liked. I actually love the first part. I don't. I love the black and white. And you it's don't? indicative of what is wrong with this movie. Okay, tell us what's wrong with it. It is, it's, it's obviously doing obviousness. Yes. You yes. know, it's like, it's like uh, The Departed. The rat represents obviousness. Okay. You know, you knew that's where they were going. Yeah. It's going to be black and white and it's going to be, it's going to be a mm. callback to the 40s stuff. But then like nothing within that felt like the 40s movies. Oh no, no, and everything looked too thing. nice. Everything no. looked too nice and slick and and it the did. acting wasn't where I think it should have been. Um so well, what about Dracula? Okay. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get to Dracula cuz here's two things. Dracula is somehow the worst Dracula in movie history and the only good part of this movie. I would I, not say he's a good part of this. That I was think not- no. I think Dracula 3000 might have a worse Dracula. Well, have Trac- I told my gay Dracula story? I don't know if you have, but you know what? Tell it again. I'm going to tell the story. Okay, so in 2003, I wrote a screen... Uh, 2002, I wrote a screenplay mm. called Die Laughing. It was originally called Chlorophobia. Mm. It's a zombie clown movie before the zombie craze happened. Justin helped yeah. me on it. Uh, it was a spec script. I got brought out to LA to work with a company for a little bit. So they had us set up out there. Mm. And while we're out there, the uh, the guy that we're there with, um, he's like, what do you want to do while you're out in Hollywood? And, and they're like, oh, let's go see the Hollywood sign. Let's go to Disney, whatever. And I was like, man, I really want to go to one of those grindhouse double feature shows yep. at the New Beverly. So first night, double feature. Savage 7. Larry Bishop movie, it's The Magnificent Seven, which yeah. is The Seven Samurai, yeah. but as a biker movie, uh, Cream did a song in it, it's one of the first things they did, and then the second movie was Humongous, which is like a Bigfoot dog monster island movie. That sounds pretty great. Great. <clears throat> second night, uh, the first movie was Savage Street, first time I'd ever seen it. I love Savage great Street. Great movie. Now the songs will be in my fucking head. Anyway, keep going. Justice for all. Uh, so this, the movie ends, so they didn't tell you what movies they were playing. That's pretty cool. So the, se- the movie ends, the first movie ends, lights mm-hmm. come up, and then a bunch of people left. Mm-hmm. And then a bunch of guys came in. Okay. So they knew what movie was playing. They knew what movie was playing. Okay. And lights go back down, and the movie is gay Dracula. And it is a very, hardcore 1980s gay porno movie. Very progressive. And this time. is actually, this movie is how I discovered the cinema snob. Because he covered it, he covered it as well. But I used to talk about it all the time. And back when we were doing Underbelly, somebody was like, "Hey, this other YouTube guy t- covered that movie. You always tell the story mm-hmm. about." Gay Dracula has uh, Gay Dracula has to take out the Marquis de Suede, and he meets a young man who is, who is, is true love, and he looks like 1984 Wayne Gretzky. Yes. And the movie, and the only way that he can break the blood curse is to find true love. So he's fucking this dude. <laughs> And they're in a hot tub. And then he's like, the sun is coming up. Uh, don't you think you should get inside? He's like, no, true love has broken the curse. And then he goes, what are you going to do now? And he goes, guess I'll work on my tan. And then he smiles at the camera and the lights come up. <laughs> I fucking stood up and clapped in the theater. And all these dudes looked at me like, what the fuck? But I was like, 
That's that a was good amazing. ending. Amazing. That's a good ending. <laughs> uh, Jessica, do me a favor. Uh, get Dre Act Gay Rack. Watch the whole thing yeah. and find that clip for us. If anyway. HR says anything about it, Tony said it was okay. <laughs> HR, I am HR. This is actually <laughs> uh, Yeah, so Dr. Frankenstein's lab, it's equipped with actual medical stuff that was purchased on, on eBay. eBay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you think it's universal. You think they have some of that old shit in the storage? No, they somewhere? gave it all to fucking Bob Burns. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So, so Dracula's there. It's Richard Roxborough. The bad guy from League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yes. The and first of many times I was reminded of League of Extraordinary Gentlemen in this movie. And Moulin Rouge. And he, uh, Gay love Moulin Rouge. Gay Racula's sort of like League of Extra Horny Gentlemen. <laughs> yes. And I think he was also in Mission Impossible 2. Yes. Yes. Yep. Uh, but with, with the actor who was going to be Wolverine, but then reshoots for Mission Impossible 2 went too long, and Hugh Jackman swept that in. That dude's like so the fucking happy Hugh Jackman best yeah. of movies. I mean, he's been in a lot of things. But he's not Wolverine. You know who he was no. in recently? He was Batwoman's dad and Batwoman. I and then they, that show. And then they changed who the main character was, so I don't even know if he's oh. in the show anymore. Oh. Yeah, because Ruby Rose was like, I'm out, and they're like, we're not going to recast the character. It's like, what? Didn't okay. she, like, break her spine, though? There's rumors that she might have been lying about a lot of stuff just to get out of her thing. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, That's why I said rumors. I don't know for sure. The um, Fleetwood Mac album? Yeah. I love that album. <laughs> so, <laughs> Igor shows up. And this movie is I going... I can't stand Igor in this, this movie. This movie is going off what people think Igor is, but yeah. that is not what mm -hmm. Igor is. No. He looks like the bad guy from uh, Subspecies. The Charles Band movie. Yes, yeah. I met that actor once. Yeah, and I was at a I was at a convention doing a video, and I'm like, "Can I?" He, we took a picture, and he was really funny. I'm like, "Can I do a video with you?" And he went, "No," <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't like being funny. Yeah, he was like, "No," and then he sat down. I'm like, "I think I got yelled at by Ragu." Yeah, <laughs> was it Ragu or something? That's what we always call you. Yeah, the big Ragu. Um, yeah, so Igor shows up. So the hunchback in the original Frankenstein mm -hmm. theme was Fritz. Yep. Which I think is also the same actor who played uh, Renfield, mm -hmm. right? Igor is a character later on played by Bela Lugosi, but yeah. he's not a hunchback. No. He's a guy who survived a hanging. Hanging, his so neck his spine is broken. is broken, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so people mix those two together, mm -hmm. and that's how you kind of get Igor. Yeah. Like, I think the only hunchback named Igor is in Young Frankenstein. Yeah. I love Which, that. Which, there's a connection. favorite yeah. musical is Young Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. I, I never saw the musical I version. I love the movie. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw the movie. The movie. It yeah. is Absolutely fantastic. So it's played by the guy who played Benny yeah. in The Mummy. He's apparently Stephen Summers' friend. He's in all the movies. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we talked about it in G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra. He's actually in Rise of Cobra at one point. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like I'm expecting him like, oh, great. Benny's in this again. And yeah. he'll be really, really funny. You think so? He's in and out of this movie. Yeah. You forget he's there for yep. a long period of time. To be fair, Tony, it, I checked. There's an hour before the story starts in this movie. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, there's an hour yeah. before they go, okay, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> so yeah, Igor, he does look like Ragu. Is yeah. his name Ragu? I, I forget. There's five subspecies movies. Yeah. Um, Rigatoni. Yeah, so what you call it? Uh, Schuler Hensley plays the monster, mm -hmm. but he also played him in Mel Brooks's Broadway play. Yeah. Yep. What, was he good in that? Did you see the version with him? I don't know if I saw the version with him. Oh. Probably. Oh. He uh, he's. I'll talk about his performance later. I yeah. don't know what they were doing. Uh, like I don't like the De Niro one, but I at least like him in that yeah. movie because yeah. he studied like people who had strokes and no. like stuff like that. You know? But uh, we get the classic. Like you said, it's like hitting every beat that you think the villagers are coming. Mm -hmm. Villages. The villagers are coming. The village China people. And this is yeah. the part where I thought, I was like, oh, okay, this is going to be corny on purpose, and it's just going to be fun and corny yeah. and stupid. And I was like, okay, I'm really loving this. That's what the entire black and white scene felt to me, was just corny yeah. and fun. I was like, the whole movie's going to be like this. And then, no. I mean, it's corny in a different way. Yeah. Not the way they it's want so, it. I don't think, yeah. It's I like the corny. main guy. Like, he looks like the hat box ghost. Okay, so I write in my notes later, is he supposed to be, fr is it like, I don't he understand. looks like he's referencing another Universal monster. That or like, like he looked kind of like the like the Doctor from Caligari a little, bit. a little bit, or like in the the Vault Keeper from EC Comics that, almost. I was you almost know, thinking like that, or it felt like he was so like different than everyone else. Mm -hmm. I mean, so is Kate Beckinsale, but that's a different. Yeah, but that's uh, different. so I'm like, is he is he from something? I couldn't think of because there's a lot of other references. Like later on, like 
his cue is dressed as right. the hunchback and stuff like that. It's like, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. But then I was like, is he a vampire? Like, I was like, is he no, he's also, a, he's, I know he's not, yeah. but he, he, he doesn't fit in the He's the, the grave village, digger. He's the he's, monster truck. I yeah. get it, but like, he's still. Uh, yeah, so Dracula kills Dr. Frankenstein because yeah. he needs the monster mm-hmm. for yeah. something. We figured yeah. out what that is later. I do like the way he was killed. I thought that was actually kind of fun. It's the only yes. person Dracula kills in the whole movie. It is. Huh. Yeah. It is. No. He's in the yeah. opening scene. What do you know? Yeah. Uh, Frankenstein, you know, being a gigantic lumbering monster, just quietly sneaks out mm-hmm. uh, and grabs the body. Uh, does, wait, does he throw Dracula in the... Fu- How does Dracula get thrown in the fireplace? Frankenstein does. Frankenstein's monster does it. Okay, he sneaks out of his container and then they're and like, then they're on him. top. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. They're yeah. like, hey, did you like that scene in the mummy when the mummy comes out of the thing and he's a skeleton and his skin comes back on? <sighs> Want to see that done way, way worse for way, way more money? I Multiple got you. Times. I got you, fam. And it should look better because it's yeah. in black and white. You can hide four. a lot of CGI flaws of black and white. It did not happen. I do like him running to the windmill. That looked like a miniature. Yeah, and it reminded yeah. me of the original uh, Frankenstein. Yes, and then... <sighs> Frankenstein. And then Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster. Whoa! Yeah. yeah. So he knows how to talk. Mm-hmm. Right, right after off the bat, he, he knows how yeah, to talk. after he just came alive. But him falling no into the windmill <laughs> is Fucking hilarious. I rewinded it twice and rewatched it. Rewound. Rewind it. So Dracula's sad mm-hmm. that he lost the monster and his brides are a little sad. I hate his brides They're awful. so much. Um, and every scene of them together Obnoxious. is like, okay, first off, it's like Obnoxious. they're all on PCP. Yes. But they play the every idiot. scene for high camp that doesn't match the tone of the rest of the it movie. Doesn't. So it's like every scene that Dracula's on camera with his brides is Alfred Molina in Boogie Nights. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So they're very, very sad. That's Cosmo. He's Chinese. Uh, but then we we flash forward a year later in color now. Yeah, which I expected. Yes, and uh, we meet Van Helsing. Ooh. And he's wearing not a not fake- Abraham Van Helsing. No, no. Gabriel no, no. Van Helsing. Yes, yes, because yes. Stephen Summers didn't like the name Abraham, except for the net fact that Brom Stoker, Brom is short for Abraham, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, it is a lame name, like Newton. Anyway. Uh, Family name, I'm the third. <laughs> so Van Helsing's there yeah. with his mask. And the music kicks in. Didn't the music remind you of like the scenes between tricks in a magic show in Vegas? Yes. <laughs> dun, 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 yeah, like somebody dun, like... Ha, like ha, ha. The guy would like take a cloth off and like walk to the I front was of expecting the... Joe from yeah. Rise of Development. Like. Final <laughs> countdown. <laughs> but it was like it was like if you took the Wonder Woman yeah. score, but you made it terrible. Yeah. Like it was like that. Uh so yeah. he is hunting Dr. Jekyll. Dr. Jekyll. Mm-hmm. And you said another this one of, of League, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Gentleman, and I don't League of Extra Horny Gentlemen. Yes. Oh um, I don't like being reminded of <laughs> League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. You don't like being reminded of Sean Connery's last theatrical performance? Uh, yeah, because the animated movie didn't come to theaters that he did. Yeah. He did a voice. Yeah. I think and you take true. like uh, amazing Alan Moore source material and go, no. Mm. Well, you know why the movie turned out that way? How? Oh. Because they didn't realize that someone owns the rights to Fu Manchu. Oh, yeah. And they made the movie with Fu Manchu as the villain. They're like, oh, no, legal told us we can't do that. So they had to add the Moriarty shit. And it was the uh, guy who played Dracula. Fu Manchu was left out of a recent movie. Yeah. Why was that? I don't know. Yeah, that's don't weird. Know. So he's hunting Dr. Jekyll. Mm-hmm. And uh, everyone knows how I love to plug the Patreon. <laughs> this concludes the story that starts in Van Helsen, the London assignment. Van Helsen? Van Helsing, The London Assignment. Uh, I watched this. Was it good, though? You're going to find out on Patreon. I reviewed it on Patreon. Oh, great. I watched it, so so find out what happened. I will let you guys know. He makes us pay to watch things. I literally paid Patreon, yeah. Yes. Uh, for the movie. In case you were wondering, though, if you want to know why Jekyll's being hunted, I'll sum it up a little briefly. He was going around stealing women's souls. but Like in the book. Yeah, like in the book. Uh, but he was giving the souls to a woman he loved to make her young again so he could marry her. And it was Queen Victoria. Anyway, the rest of that is on Patreon. But the, that's why he's being hunted right now. So the video game that James covered 20 years ago 
follows the source material back. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> but by the way, guys, uh, I know you I know you love those brides of Dracula mm-hmm. uh Dracula. Uh, in the special features for this. I love DVDs. I love their special features. Behind the Screams. An exclusive behind the scenes look into the world of Van Helsing, hosted by one of Dracula's brides. Are they like models? actress Josie Moran? Okay, we're using we're throwing around words like actress now. Uh, I felt like they were either models or contest winners. Oh, they were a hundred percent models turn actresses. A hundred percent. They're awful. They're pretty. Their bad. design is fucking awful. I don't know if they would be models because they all had huge tits. No, they didn't. The one girl didn't at all. The one with the straight black hair didn't. I was oh, actually kind of surprised. No, they're the definitely. Others. But whereas like Monica Bellucci was a model turned actress and they were like, we're not going to give her a lot of lines. Yeah. But Steven again, Summers is like, give him a shit ton of lines. Yeah. Like, but they can't act. Yeah. Uh, feed. Um, <laughs> yeah. But except like Monica Bellucci is so memorable because that's my favorite Dracula movie ever. Yeah. After Gay Racula. After Gay Racula, of course. So good. Mm-hmm. So good. It anyway. It's really uh, <laughs> so you don't like Mr. Hyde CGI? No, he looks like he looks like Shrek. Yeah, but I'm thinking of you gotta you gotta put your mind like what else was around. It no. looks better than a lot of other no. stuff that was around this at the was, time. No. After T no. two and Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yeah, but digital humans was hard to do back then. Like he, he wasn't I a just human. Watched, I just watched it. He's, no, he's no. I didn't even human. realize I was. And why did he have to no. be so fucking big? Yeah. Because it was go big or go home. This is this is Steven Summer. He literally looks like a ogre. No, I'm not saying he doesn't look terrible. He looks bad. I'm just saying he doesn't look as bad as I remember him looking. No, he actually looked worse than I remember. Oh, really? The other night. Yeah. It's you so know, because even what? the Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde in mm. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen looked better than this because yeah. it was a com- it was a composite suit yeah. and makeup. Like now, you know what does look terrible? The blue screens and the green screens. Yeah. So we talk about compositing and all the, the times time. where you could tell that uh, Hugh Jackman is wearing a wig. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, that also looks bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we talk about like uh, cr- like chroma keying and matte yeah. shots mm-hmm. and stuff. And there's well, we're professional filmmakers. Yes, uh, but there was a really, really like matte shots were really hit or miss before this. Mm-hmm. And this is like the era where you can make a matte shot like look good. Mm-hmm. Like you can uh, chroma key someone into it, blend it, color correct it digitally. That way, there's not this thing. So they mm-hmm. figured that out. But they like went too over the top with some of the stuff, so it is very apparent. Like I, it's like Star Wars prequels. Yeah. I'm like, there, I not, no point do I believe Hugh Jackman is actually on top of the building. So while he's chasing, it's not like now everything's blue screen, but you kind of don't notice it. And he ate women and children and stuff like that. So while the, he's chasing him, the music's playing. It's like, it's and then so I'm watching the, 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 the magi- magician go. <laughs> The final. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they get into a fight. Yeah, uh, and it's know, terrible. He shows him the bullet hole he left him, which is in that. Mm-hmm. I will say the animated prequel, like this, probably would have worked better as an animated series. Yeah. it's actually violent and bloody. That. They did That's a hell. Awesome. Wasn't there Helsing? There's an it? anime called yeah. Helsing, okay. unrelated. Yeah, but yeah, I think b- the animated thing. It's this not is, great, but I'm like, no, this would have worked better as an animated. This thing. is yeah. no Stan Helsing. No, remember no. Stan Helsing? This is not from no. the makers of. Uh, Date movie and and yeah. meet the Spartans. Ew, ew no. Ew, I no. did have an idea when this came out, like to do a fan film, but I couldn't get enough people to help me because I was what? fourteen and everyone hated me. Why didn't uh, they like? Wh- I really wanted to do a, a parody of this called Sam Loomis, where it's him fighting like Pinhead and yeah. all that shit. <laughs> but it's like you look at something like this and you go, it's not hard to figure out how to get all the monsters into the same world. In their literature, they all basically exist in the same time period. And then Steven Summers is like, oh, there was going to be a cameo by the creature from the Black Lagoon. And I was like, that's a bridge too far. Because, no. yes, he's a prehistoric creature. I'm shocked he didn't work the mummy in here somewhere. No, nah, yeah. that would have been too on the nose. Come on. He's mm-hmm. an auteur. Maybe uh, not the mummy, but a mummy. Yeah. I'm shocked he didn't put a mummy in um, here. But it just says like a... Like a little, hey, yeah. here we go. Or yeah. like little things of each character would mm-hmm. be fine. Well, they tried that with the Dark Universe. Yeah. Where they tried. And it failed miserably. Miserably. And it was uh, fucking mm. Russell Crowe was Dr. Jekyll. Yeah. Oh, so uh, Hugh Jackman is not supposed to be killing these monsters. No. That's like a, it's like a problem he has with the superiors. He's, he's supposed to be trying to save their souls, but he really doesn't want to. By sending them to heaven. Yeah, uh, how, yeah. How and are like, you supposed to do that when they're attacking you and trying to kill? Like, there's. I mean, I think that's sense. Van Helsing's point. He's like, yeah, they try to like 
rip me apart. Like, it's, yeah. it's kind of hard to be like, hey, yeah. have you thought about our Lord and Savior? Oh, I'm being shot at! <laughs> uh, I do feel bad when Dr. Jekyll, before I watched the prequel, mm -hmm. when found out he's a bad guy. Yeah. But I felt bad when Dr. Jekyll, like, turns back as he's falling. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the uh, the fucking in the Edward Norton Incredible Hulk movie where they push him out of the airplane. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and that green screen looks awesome, yeah. awful. And then he rides his horse from Paris to the Vatican. It looks like he went from Paris to the Vatican on his horse. Dun, 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 dun. So he works for MI6. Uh, the, the Vatican's version of MI6 and the Men in Black. This is also Men in Black and James yeah. Bond. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. Yeah. They're trying to marry the two. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he works for this organization. He works there because he's, like, immortal, but he doesn't yeah. know why. He doesn't remember. They don't he doesn't remember anything. They keep his. Apparently, they were going to explain a lot of that shit, but then the guy There's was like, "So many." The guy was like, "Cut it out. We'll save it for all those sequels. We're going to make so many sequels." Yeah, there is so many yeah. holes in this story where you're just like, I, yeah. "What?" That so make sense. So his new mission is he's got to help a family kill Dracula. Yeah, Kate Beckinsale's family. Her and her brother. Their fa their father has died recently. Mm -hmm. And long ago, their family was like, we will vow to kill Dracula or we'll never go to heaven. So if they die and they don't kill Dracula, their souls are going to be stuck in purgatory for all time. So the Vatican is very concerned about this. Like all those un unwed mothers. Yes. Yes. He's like, he literally says, <laughs> he's like a Van Helsen, all those unwed mothers. And those boys that touch the pee-pee, yeah. they're going to be in a hell forever. Your dad played the priest in this movie? That's amazing. <laughs> So uh, he's going to go do it. Uh, but then again, the Cardinal does the whole like, you shouldn't be trying to kill people. And it's like, it's fucking Dracula, yeah, you asshole. What the fuck you want me to do? I, and I, also, real quick, I hate the way they're explaining the story of uh, and the, like, the pictures of the prehistoric oh, yeah. slideshow. Yeah. The prehistoric. I'm like, what? what? And the, the images are so clear. You, you literally like, just like, so clear. step over top of it, and that's it. And At like, least make it look so like the sharp. fucking closer video from Anything. Nine Inch Nails, you know? Yes. How? How? Because even, like, remember when they do it in, like, the Nickelodeon and Bram Stoker's Dracula? Yeah. And it and when you transition the scenes, when and when Mina's walking down the street and Dracula mm. return, comes to London for the first time, yeah. and they make it look like a black and white Nickelodeon. They shot it on an actual yeah, thing. Exactly. Exactly, and it's like you have Universal backing it. You can't do that. You fucking. Well, well remember that Dracula was trying to show you technology that existed at the time. This is like, hey, the Vatican—they got futuristic technology like candlelight projector. Well, uh, yeah, and everyone underground. It's like the Vatican, but there's like Muslims and monks, and they're all yeah. working yeah. together. Yeah. And I was like, look, if I know anything about the Catholic Church, <laughs> there's no way now. Eh. So at the time this movie takes place, Transylvania did not belong. Yeah, to I Romania. wrote that in there because when the movie came out, uh, I used to work with a guy named George who was from Romania. Yeah, and when this movie came out. He got so fucking mad about that. He's like, if they're not going to learn anything about my people. And I'm like, I don't really think that historical accuracy is the point of Van Helsing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this movie ends with like a werewolf punching a vampire. Like, you know? Which, again, you're like watching it. You're like, this should be the most awesome thing ever. Yeah. And it's the complete opposite. Well, you know what? You, you know what actually helped me not be too upset about this? Alcohol? No, I was I was 14, Newt. Oh, okay. Uh, what helped me was I was disappointed in a previous film about vampires fighting werewolves called Underworld oh, starring yeah. Kate Beckinsale. Did I did I ever tell you? I really do not like Underworld. I've never seen the sequels. Amazing soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing yeah. fucking soundtrack. Uh, it's got Trent Reznor. Or no, it's uh, uh, Maynard from Tool mm. and David Bowie redoing uh, Bring Me the Head of Disco King. Fucking great. It's got uh, uh, Pushifer on it. Great soundtrack. Um, so I went to, my theater didn't get Underworld because our old district manager yeah. said, we don't want to bring that kind of element into your theater. I was like, vampires? <laughs> um, and so we had to go to another theater. Justin and I went to go see it and it was sold out opening nights. So we had to sit really close and just, I don't know why this happened. My nose just started gushing blood all over the front of me. And I was wearing a, uh, I was wearing a white, uh, <laughs> a white fucking, um, Phoenix Coyotes jersey, the old one that they had, and I was just covered in fucking blood when we came out of the thing, and I had to ask my then girlfriend for like something for it, and I put tampons in my nose. <laughs> yeah. Newt, Newt, 
We got to stop talking about tampons, okay? <laughs> if I was in that episode, it would have gone on over a lot better. It really yeah. Uh, yeah, so we meet Q. I'm sorry, I mean Carl. Carl. Carl named Basically after Carl. Basically Q. Yeah, but he's named after Carl Lemley. Yes. And he's played by the storyteller from 300. Isn't it Lemiel? Carl Lemley. I thought it was Lemiel. Hmm. Tomato. You're to known for getting names right, so never mind. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> uh, I miss this. I miss being on this show. Yes. I so, Q, <laughs> Carl. Mm -hmm. we, I was talking about this when I was watching yesterday. Like, He's I your know favorite character, though, because I heard you're really into Q. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. I want to fucking break your face. Anyway, um, there's a lot of movies that have ripped off the James Bond yeah. thing. But I was thinking about it because I rewatched uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. I don't know if I ever talked about that trilogy before. It's pretty good, especially the third movie. But, like, you know, Lucius Fox was basically Q in that, which yeah. I think the comics had done first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, like, I, I know that's what they're doing because Christopher Nolan's a big James Bond guy, mm. but it didn't feel as apparent to me with that. Like, I was in it. Like, I didn't... It, like I figured it out later, but in the moment I'm like, oh, I'm not. I wasn't but you like, also because you knew that character from the comics and the cartoons and yeah, stuff yeah. Like that. But this, I'm like, oh, this guy's Q. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just Q. Like they're not fair. even trying. His name might have been. It should have just been Carl with the Q. But he reminds because of how on the fucking nose it he was. reminds me of the more modern Q, the little dude, uh, uh, the guy from Cloud Atlas. Yeah, because he's just like he's like awkward and I'm a fryer. Oh, I fucking hate the new yeah. Q. Anyway, um. He's going with him in the field, and he's very scared about this. Even though I just watched the prequel, and he was on another think, adventure. Though of all the gadgets he was going through, uh, I toys. hated this movie. Yes. Yeah, that was toys. I hated the gadgets. This movie made me hate steampunk. <laughs> I used to really like steampunk stuff. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's cool when you see it at conventions. Like, I'm a steampunk mm -hmm. Iron Man. I'm a steampunk Ghostbuster. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is stupid, and I hate it. Remember, this is like after like X Men, where they were selling the the blades. Mm -hmm. This is after like you had like ten years of Power Rangers. There with were all the toys, gadgets, so there they was... they gave them gadgets and made them look super cartoony. There was a lot them. of toys for this movie too, because I remember when they were on sale in like Walmart and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you have any Van Helsing toys, send them to us. Please we can destroy them. <laughs> uh, they send him to uh, Transylvania mm -hmm. with uh, Carl. We see Kate Beckinsale and her brother fighting yeah. a werewolf. She werewolf. looks fantastic. She looks fantastic. She looks so good. But the werewolf looks awful. Cut the rope! Cut it now! <laughs> yes. And also it's a giant. I have a problem with the, the size of the werewolves yeah. in this. Yeah. And they're uh, like, oh, they tried to make it look like the one from American Werewolf. And I'm like, no, because the one in American Werewolf in London looks better than this. Yes. Oh, yeah, I think you mixed that up. Wait. Uh, f Paris. Yeah, okay. Right, okay. Yeah. Take yes. that over. Yes, because I'm like, well, of course the one in American Werewolf in London looks better. <laughs> I, uh, Fright Rags just did an American Werewolf in London uh, t-shirt line. Yeah, they yeah. And they have yeah. the See You Next Tuesday t-shirt that's the marquee from the thing so I ordered myself that because that nice. is that joke is one of the things I'm most angry about because mm. I wish I came up with that joke no. when they're having sex in the and they're watching the porno and the guy walks in he's like what did I tell you about doing this she's like I've never seen you before in my life and the guy's like yeah me either he goes whoops wrong room and he leaves <laughs> that is the one of the best jokes ever written for anything it's too bad it was written by a murderer but you know <laughs> uh cover American Werewolf in Paris oh on Patreon God. I saw that in the theater. <laughs> we are doing Werewolf Wednesdays. We gotta yep. start that. We mm -hmm. gotta get back to doing 2B Tuesdays now that your face is fixed. Um, the year's wildest thriller. <laughs> it was not the year's wildest no. thriller. No. So, uh, Kate Beckinsale and her brother fighting the werewolf. Good uh, for Julie Delpy that she was able to have a career after this. And Tom Everett Scott. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the brother rescues Kate Beckinsale yeah. from getting killed, but he goes over the cliff with the werewolf, mm -hmm. presumably to his death. Spoiler, it's not his death. No, he turns into a werewolf. Yeah. Uh, she, and she's not really that sad. She looks more disappointed. She, yeah, she looks disappointed, but mm. not crying, not upset. Do you think she was just, more disappointed in that um, or in that movie that she was in where Gary Oldman played a little person? You ever see that movie? Tiptoes. Tiptoes. Oh, I, uh, newt, newt, newt. 
I've seen tiptoes. Yeah, have you ever heard of tiptoes before? <laughs> Tippy toes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with Matthew McConaughey and and everyone was like, oh, That's please a... make sure this movie never comes out. I can't believe they agreed to that. Bridget the Midget was in it. Yeah. I can say that because that's her name. Yes. And I'm a person of stor- short stature. Yes. And I have Bell's palsy. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is a handicap. Uh, but anyway, she sucks at killing werewolves. She does. And I think my werewolf exterminator is on their way now. Let's see if they do a good job. a lot of dead werewolves that is a lot of dead werewolves that's a lot of dead horny werewolves holy shit anyway we get some sweeping aerial shots of van helsing going through the snowy mountains (laughs) but i was like wow this all looks so familiar have you ever seen this in a movie or two movies or three movies that came out around the same time they were about Lords of Rings. Yes. Yeah. It's basically Lord of the Rings. Yeah. It's, yep. little, it's, I was like, is that, are they going to the mines of Moria? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hated the look of this too because it was so bright and so clean mm. and so sharp, but yeah, it doesn't fit the fucking movie. No. It doesn't because, fit the fucking tone. The tone of the movie you, through most of it is dark and steampunkish and more of like the copper feels. And this exists on the same planet where there's seven or eight full moons in a month. That yeah. hits yeah. me the yeah. fuck off. But, but the reason it's in there is because they're like, oh, we need to be the next big epic. What did the last epic do? Oh, they had sweeping aerial shots. Put that in our movie. Yeah. Like, but well, at least make it the same fucking tone. Well, the rest of, of the movie. And clean and, and they're, bright. When they never go into like the black forest that Transylvania is known for. Oh, and, no, they have that horse chase through the forest. Yeah, yeah but it's not like Transylvanian. Yeah. It just but anyway, like nice the... The thing is, like, the rest of the movie looks like a set or bad CGI. Yeah. So when you see, like, a real location, it's kind of like how we felt with Batman yeah. Forever. Mm-hmm. That one time where they went on, like, location, yeah, it was like, like, this is what jarring. Is yeah, going so that's on. exactly what it felt out yeah. of place. But, how much better would this movie have been if they replaced all the characters and replaced them with the serial monsters? That would have been cool. Because I'm wearing my Booberry Japanese shirt. <laughs> and You're just <laughs> waiting to Ryan talk Re- about Ryan it. reads kanji now, yeah. and he said, this says berry. That's good. Mm-hmm. Um, I got this at Astronomicon. Yeah. So you said the town feels like the one from Jim Cotta. Yes, doesn't it? I hundred percent. It looks the like the town the from Jim Cotta. Yeah, yeah, it looks like the village of the crazies. We should do Jim Cotta. I have the that th- actor died. Didn't I know he, he died the day that I got the poster oh, in the mail. God, that's he died. Funny. Really? Yeah. Um. So why is Kate Beckinsale the only one who's not dressed like shit? Because she's fancy. I get that she's like the princess of royalty, but I'm like, there's such a disconnect. You know that she was the last person cast in the movie. They had already started and they didn't have an actress. And she, it was Hugh Jackman's idea to put her in it. And she's like, another fucking vampire werewolf. You know what? I really like Kate Beckinsale. Beautiful. I I mean, horrible taste in men. Why would she date Pete Davidson? What a fucking idiot. Uh, and also, she dated that guy who made the Underworld movies, and he did a pretty good Die Hard oh, movie, yeah. but then he ruined Total Recall. Uh, oh, she, yeah. I feel like most movies I've seen her in are terrible. What was the movie she was in that was like a that romantic a comedy with uh, John Cusack? Sarah, we talked about that Sarah in the Dippity. other's review. Serendipity. Yeah. Like, that movie's stupid. Yeah. She uh, has to un- be in a good one. Underworld's terrible. The Total Recall remake is terrible. Like, oh. what have I seen her in? I totally good. forgot this, that... Just like this movie. Look I totally movie. forgot that there was a Total Recall remake. It was with uh, fucking Bullseye. Yeah. 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 And Brian Cranston was in Brian it. Brian Cranston Holy was in shit. it. Holy shit. Yeah. It's terrible. I just had Total Recall. Yes. And Kate Beckinsale was in it because yeah. the director put her in everything. She's not in Live Free or Die Hard, but when they're going when they're going through images on mm-hmm. the guy's computer, they like stuck her Is that in the there. the part with Kevin Smith? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That one's not too bad. She's apparently was in this video and I'm sure... Sh- short video and it, this might be the best thing she was ever in mm-hmm. and I've never seen it but I'm just guessing it's called Republicans Get In My Vagina literally it's what it's called well I did not see in that in 2012 one. I did not see that one. <laughs> oh, well 2012 that was okay yeah she's a vacancy I forgot about that one Oh yeah, she I never a saw a vacancy. Yeah. I actually like that movie. I'm not saying she isn't in good movies it's just every movie I've seen her in I think has been bad Dude, is Republicans yeah. getting my vagina in the same cinematic universe as Gay Dracula? <laughs> it's a direct sequel. Yeah. Much well, about nothing. Didn't see it. Ooh. 
Oh, really? Uh, do you even watch Shakespeare? Yeah, Are I like Are you even cultured at all? I have Mel Gibson's Hamlet. I've seen Hamlet, there. too. I've seen Hamlet, too, a lot John of times. Set in Tucson, Arizona. Yes. Can I get back to Can the movie? Can we get back to the movie still... now? Wow. You guys Broken Down Palace. You Broken Down Palace. Broken Down Palace is yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Broken okay. Broke Down Palace is good. Yes. That was the one. Broke Down Palace. Broke Down Palace? That's what it's called. That was Broken Down No, and it's with Claire Danes. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Is it Broken Down or Broke Down? After you guys just fucking yelled at me. I have to be home. You guys have yelled at me so many times already for just saying about... One little story, but yeah, you guys could talk about any stories you guys fucking want. Ow, your yelling is hurting my face. <laughs> you fucking hurt my face every day. Broke down palace. You were right. Boom. Broke down palace. So, uh, I saw it in the Kate Beckinsale, she's like, fuck you, uh, Van Helsing. What are you doing here? I'm a sexy lady and I flaunt my wealth in front of all these peasants. Yeah. Like, I know. They're like, I eat dirt, but I'm glad her makeup's I'm literally so nice. the only rich person who can afford nice clothes. I should probably, <laughs> like, you know, out of solidarity. Her makeup, her hair, her outfit, and her goddamn heels are perfect through the entire goddamn movie. Give it, I'll give Steven Summers one thing. Between her and uh, uh, Rachel, Weiss, Rachel Weiss. women with beautiful hair. Yes. But throughout the whole movie when she's... Fighting. But I like when they when they start like fighting and they're doing the gender roles literally where they're on top oh of each my other God. and they're yeah. rolling around on each other. It's like, oh look, gender roles. Yeah, and then her crotch is in his face. Uh, oh. so they are fighting the brides of Dracula, who are Ugh. just fucking terrible. You don't like so these bad. designs. These they're, are awful. So they're like, they I look hated like it. flying squirrels. Yeah, yeah. Where they have like the membrane, but the membrane also turns into a wing that flaps. It looks. Like, it might be one of those things where like. Maybe on paper it looked cool, but it was not visualized no, that well. Just, and then they was... do the long mouth thing from like every direct to video <sighs> demon yeah. movie. Yeah. It looked like uh, they were like in a green man suit kind of with wings. Yeah, it was pretty it terrible. Was they bad. they look so fucking bad and they are just chewing the scene yeah. and hamming it up. They're just picking up poor people who are probably like, thank you. Please kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so why is it that one can pick up a fucking cow and throw it, but yet when was it Kate Beckinsale and um, Hugh Jackman are like trying to pull each other down from mm. being grabbed? That's too heavy. Why is that too heavy for them, but a cow? Well, he has isn't. he has the power of the Lord on his yeah. side. Crystal, you're asking for like uh, logic and stuff, okay? You know, there's this is, no logic at like, all. I know, but but Crystal, this, like, this is it, like a fantasy, you know? Yeah. Just like it's like a childlike just, fantasy. You're yeah, like don't you have any? Yeah, don't you have any? Positive. This Crystal, is bullshit. Crystal, this is a dumpster fire. Crystal, fucking Van Helsing's AK-47 bow yeah. crossbow just doesn't hit her at all as he's just, like unloading into yeah. the fucking vampires. How many fucking cross? Like how many bows does he have? Because he. It's a machine gun. It really is. Yeah. I don't know and where he's getting like the new silver limited. I They literally do a reload at some point, yeah. but that's the only reload in the fucking movie. And then he has to dip it in holy water? Yeah, because is, they didn't kill. Yeah. The fucking bows didn't kill the vampires when it hit it because she just, she just pulled them out like it didn't do anything. So they needed but the holy water. Later in the movie, it magically randomly kills them. Why? They, why does it they, not? They why does it kill them? It's, it's called... We're running out of budget, and we have to get this out by its release date. Because but those were the we've same bows later in the this. movie when um it's like the explosion with the bows. It's the same yeah. ones, right? And it impales and makes her explode. Or all that not, yeah, all that matters her... is that the cow was okay. Yes, I wrote cow yes, was also. Why the fuck is the cow okay when it was literally <laughs> maybe that was a different cow? And... Yeah. Anyway, uh, I like how they can go out in the overcast day. So f when I first saw this, I'm like. Oh, they're probably vampires that can hang around the daytime. Yeah. Because depending on what version of whatever. If they whatever. sleep in their home soil, they can go out during the day. Yeah, because I don't think, like, the daylight wasn't really a thing until, like, Nos Nosferatu, I think, mm -hmm. introduced it. Uh, so Tony's, they're fighting Tony's, in the daytime. But Tony's then it, a real Nosferatu, and we need him to be a yes for yeah. too. <laughs> but it turns out that it's they were only out because it was slightly overcast. But then That's the sun comes out for a second sense. and they hide in a well. So does that mean like Seattle would be plagued by yes. vampires? Well, no, isn't that? That's literally the plot to the fucking Twilight movies. They live in the town yeah. where it's constantly overcast to hide their sparkling skin. Makes sense. And then they play baseball. Because I know that Abner Doubleday mm. and Bram Stoker were good pals. I figured out a... Uh, a good way to keep your vampire. So, yeah, District Attorney Dracula and Mummy Cop. Uh, he can go out in the what sun. Fucking Mummy Cop. Oh, that's a thing that he so, he can go out in the he's, sun. He's not talking about Dark Knight Rises, so let him go. 
Yes. Uh, what did you say about Dark Knight Rises? Oh, son of a bitch. Anyway, um, <laughs> well, uh, District District Attorney Dracula. He can go out in the daytime, <laughs> but you know. Bell's palsy. Okay. <laughs> I fucking hate both of you. But his power is weakened, so I had to think of a workaround. Like, how is he going to be in the sunlight without getting weakened? So, in the thing, I had Renfield hold an umbrella over him. That makes sense. And I literally stole that from Fright Night 2, the yeah. original Fright yep. Night 2, where, like, the daughter of the vampire, a guy just has an umbrella over her, and it's mm-hmm. like, wait, that's enough? <laughs> like, that, that doesn't make any fucking sense. So, it was, again, going back to... Um, uh, John Landis, mm-hmm. you know, they say like, how do you kill a vampire? And he goes, anyway. however you want, because they don't exist. You yes. can do whatever the fuck you want with them, you know? Yeah. Uh, but he kills it by shooting holy water. Yeah, they have 30 different ways to kill it. Mm. And yet the only thing is the holy water for some reason. Well, I think they're like special van Cause that's like a plot but point not, later on. Because later they, they are able to kill them with the different thing. Are you saying, uh, what did you think of the, the fucking, her her melting and exploding. It looked really dumb. It looked awful. Yeah. It looked so fucking bad. I kept like stopping the movie to go do stuff and I was like, this is so embarrassing. And I'm a human being who's just full on cringe all the time. So, yeah. you know. But uh they you know they offered to buy Van Helsing a drink because he's the first person to kill a vampire in a hundred years. Yeah. But they were angry. The townspeople were angry yeah. because Oh, let them go because they only kill one or two uh, villagers a month. We just let them be. But we're so getting, he was now, mad. But now we have to get to the best scene in the entire movie. But room. can I say, yeah. that village is very, very small. Mm-hmm. One or two villagers is 12 to 24 people a year. Mm-hmm. I don't think they have that many people. Well, maybe they're going, to, maybe there's other villages. Maybe they... No, that's why they said their village. Maybe they're they like, take from well, their village. We find out later he's got like a network of mirror dimensions yeah. that teleport you around the sure. world. So he's probably got other people. But he like, does. But there's they literally say they go to their village and take mm-hmm. one or two a month. I yeah. think you just don't have any imagination. Yes. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so listen, um, you should be fucking back. Again. Crystal, we have to talk about. The best scene in the this movie. This scene is like everyone so, was on coke. So so Dracula comes out of his his coffin, yeah. his mirror coffin, and wakes up screaming. Mm-hmm. Uh, the brides are hanging upside down. He walks up the thing, and he was definitely on wires because you can see he's struggling yeah, yep. to walk up mm-hmm. the set. He's trying to do it gracefully. Yeah. It's like. He's like barely touching. Uh, they're they're upset that they lost their bride, and he's like, "Don't worry, we'll get another bride." Have and they a say, heart. "They say, have you no heart?" And he just looks at them and goes, "No, oh, I have no heart." But the pause is so funny be- between that, where he just goes, "No." <laughs> if the whole movie, if was Tommy like Wiseau that, was happy. Dracula, <laughs> yes. If the whole movie was like that, I'd be like, yes, "This is no. fun." This is fun. Yes, this you could have fun of it. You yes. could have done this movie as yes. high camp. Yes. Yeah. And it wasn't. So I have a question. What the fuck are his henchmen? I thought they were robots, but later you no, see their they're, mouth. They're no like idea. a mixture of the minions, the Jawas, and the little Martian guys from uh uh, Fantastic. Fantasm. But, yeah, but yeah, what are they in this? They're no, they're nothing. They're, they're henchmen. Just, they're just pathetic. But like, what are, what monster are they supposed no, nothing. to be? Nothing. They're pathetic. They're just they, trolls. They, goblins. Not, they're not trolls. They're not goblins. Are they goblins? No. Because his babies are gargoyles. Yeah. Oh, you know what they are? A toy. I'm no. I'm assuming you needed a bunch of henchmen to shoot in the video game, and that's what they came up with. Mm. Oh, I can see. You. But but like, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I know Dracula has gypsies. These are clearly not gypsies. But I was just like. What are these? Give me your they're, tears, they're Gypsy. They're just stupid. They're stupid is what they are. I will talk to you, Gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and then and then Dracula turns into a mirror. Yeah. I, like he goes backwards with his brides and then turns into a mirror and you can see it's like kind of freeze framed. I was like, I forgot about the mirror part yeah. of this. I was like, yeah. what the fuck just happened? <laughs> yeah. That's the first um, time you said that while watching this. I kept yeah. saying it. so abusive too to those two. Well, so <sighs> they kind of deserve it. So here, here's an inconsistency you'll love. Mm-hmm. We saw a vamp. We saw a werewolf during the day. Where? In the parking lot. Yes. Uh, we saw a werewolf during there's the. There's inconsistency in this movie. Yes, <laughs> no and this is a big way. one. 
So we see a werewolf during the day. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it was a werewolf. Well, it was overcast. No, the sun was out. So at night, her her brother is now a werewolf. Yeah. Because it's the first but, full moon. Yes. And then and then a cloud goes past the moon and he turns back into a man. And I then the cloud hate moves. That the werewolf comes from within. That it sheds the human skin. That's not the first time I've seen that. Or that's it's no, because so even stupid. in like uh, oh, what was that net wait, what was that Netflix show, the horror show of Famke Jensen that everyone liked for a bit? Uh something Grove. Oh, um Hemlock Grove. Was it Hemlock Grove? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't think it's I think it was called Hamlocker. But I think at that one, like the werewolves like came out. Well, that was also in the Company of Wolves as well, the 80s movie. But at I least it was handled like it was handled like good. Yeah. Like it was like a Rob Botinish style thing. But it was interesting seeing him literally rip off the rest of the flesh. It's an interesting I idea, but the, the, I don't think it was actually. Okay, you know what was handled handled it's better? You know what was handled better? Trick or treat. Yeah. Oh, a gazillion percent. Yeah. Gazillion, fulfillion, fulfillion yeah. percent. I don't think that's a number, but it all right. It is a fucking <laughs> number in my world. But yes, that is yeah. way better. But it, I don't understand too when he becomes into a werewolf and then back out and then yeah, I don't, I like, don't get it. Especially that, when you show the first werewolf sense. in the fucking daylight. Tony, I just don't think you have any imagination. I don't. Yeah. I don't. So it's about childhood wonder. So she's fighting uh, the werewolf. But um, he, she, he, how often then? I guess the moon barely ever shows then because did he never come back to her? How long has it been since he died? I think it was a day. I think she literally, he went over the cliff. She came back, so fought the vampires. Within a day, every, again, this movie, literally everything happens just just happens no, to be that's the, whole thing. the full moon the, story, the next day. The story doesn't mm -hmm. matter. There's yeah. no This is just line. a bunch of things. So this it part, is just a bunch of things. Because what? Okay, so the first day, she uh, just happens to lose this her brother. This is the rise of upset, Skywalker. But the second day, she sees her brother, wasn't upset the day before, <clears throat> sees her brother the next day and starts crying yeah. all of a sudden. Now you're upset that your brother is there and you, is a werewolf, but yet... The moon comes and all of a sudden he's back, uh, that he's a werewolf. When he comes back, aren't they just going to wait until he becomes a fucking person the next day? Why? Because a full moon is every 29 days. Not 28 in this days. universe. In this universe, it's, it's every not. other week. <laughs> no, not even every other week. Every other fucking day. Pretty much. And you're yeah. going day by day by day in this movie. It's literally a full moon every other day. Yes. And what I really don't like about this. Well, one, I like that kill that white hair guy. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty funny. I like I like that he ties at his hat like lands on the pole. What I really don't like about this scene is Van Helsing tries to kill the werewolf. She says, no, don't. And he's like, why did you not let me kill the werewolf? And she's like, oh, the town will hate me. And he goes, that's not your brother. And she's like, you knew? It's like, why are we in her? I, I thought we were introducing like a secret she's going to keep from him. And then and then and then she did it. I'm like, why would you introduce that element and immediately get rid of it? How did he know? How? Oh, he probably guessed. Like, why else would she not want to kill a werewolf? Like, like oh, her brother got fought How a werewolf. He he's a werewolf. He's a werewolf. Yep. Plus, he has. He blood. also fights these things all the goddamn did time. Did she say that her brother died? I assume she told him in the scenes when she said she hadn't been to the sea. That's coming up. Oh, yes. Uh, they go to Dracula's castle uh, as Dracula is about to test out his machine. Or it's not his castle, it's Frankenstein's it's castle. It's Frankenstein's castle. And then that's when she's like, uh, something about the sea. What did she say about the fucking sea? Like, when Dracula's dead, we'll go see the sea? It was stupid. And it I was, was like, that'll come back later. Yes. Uh, and then we also find out Dracula tested out the machine on their father. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's fucking, a skeleton. His fucking corpse is still on it. And I love the guy, the werewolf, he's like, Hey, hey, wait a minute. Is that my dad? Yeah, He's like, I liked it. His skin melted off, but not his crucifix. <laughs> so, so the machine, Frankenstein's machine, mm -hmm. what it's supposed to do is it's electricity goes into someone. And then I guess their life force is divided into all the vampire the babies. The gremlin sacks, yeah. Because all vampire babies are stillborn egg sacks. But are they gremlins? They are. They look like gargoyles. Are gargoyles. Yeah. No, but they literally say that they're vampire babies. No, no, they that are baby. vampire babies. They yeah. just look ever, like Have gargoyles. you ever seen the clip from the press junket of Twilight where 
Robert Pattinson goes, Vampire Baby. <laughs> Find that clip no. and put it here. It's like, Vampire Baby. Like, <laughs> on Google Images. Vampire Baby. Yeah. So, they were, they're, Dracula and his brides created babies. Yes. But why do they need any type of life force to finish their cycle of life? Because, because the they're movie born life. dead. Yeah, they say that. Oh no, Crystal, it's fucking stupid. I, I don't get it. So they're like, so vampire. Well, I mean, I guess what makes sense because if you don't, if you're dead and you don't have blood flowing through you, you can't get an erection. But then, no, 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 no. They they can get the erection. It's just the baby. But gets, then the bride gives birth to an egg sac. Yes, but that, then the egg sac, for some reason, that's when it stops, and it's just it's a dead gargoyle baby. So they need someone's life force to get struck by lightning and divide it up. But a human wasn't strong enough, so he thinks werewolf venom will be able to power did up he, the gargoyles. Did he know he could do it because he touched his nose and it was wet? So he said, oh, he must be healthy. Yes. So that is the plan. They're using Frankenstein. Again, we're an hour so, into the movie and then we have a plot. Yes. A plot. <laughs> you know what? Now that I talk about it, I said I didn't care about this movie. I hate this movie. Yeah. So, and and then, werewolves have venom. It's not a curse. It's venom. Yeah. We also find out that Dracula and Gabriel Van Helsing have a history together. Mm -hmm. What was it? Van Helsing can only remember fighting the Romans. Yeah. Right. Was that what the thing is? So they have a history and Dracula knows who Van Helsing is. Mm -hmm. And and while this is happening, the gargoyles are eating the people and the lady goes, feed. Feed my darling. <laughs> feed. And Kate Beckinsale is trying to save her brother. Yeah. Yes. Uh, she frees the brother as he's changing into a werewolf. And this is confusing. So for a minute, I was like, okay, taking him out of the machine must have killed the babies. And I was like, no, wait, because they're not linked up to the machine anymore. No. no. So they coincidentally died at the same point he was yeah. released from the they machine. They randomly fucking exploded. Have you Just ever seen those? Exploded. Have you ever seen those nature films of turtles that have to get to the sea? And they get picked off by birds. Yes. It's sort of like that. Yeah, it's exactly, it's like, exactly that. like that. <laughs> it's actually nothing like that. No, it's exactly. But like it's that. a weird, it was a weird coincidence because I wasn't sure what caused it. I'm like, wait, is it supposed to be? They tell you later, but in the moment, I'm like, what was it? I missed it. I think it's just the vampire, like they needed Frankenstein to power them. It wasn't them. powerful enough to keep them alive, but yeah. they just exploded. They just exploded, but they conveniently exploded as he got out of the machine. That's why everything I was like, is very convenient. It's very convenient. Movie. But I was like, wait, are they connected? But they weren't. It's just weird. No. It was weird timing for that. Uh, but the friar saves the one lady. He's just a friar. Yeah, he can do sex stuff because he's he only a friar and do sex stuff. And he's, yeah, yep. he's just like, oh, is there anything I can do? And then he whispers in her ear. And yeah, it's just like, but then what? Do, like, what do friars know about sexually? <laughs> you know. So Van Helsen and you them. Know who loves friars? Who? Kieran loves air fryers. He does. Last year at the Super Bowl, he brought his air fryer to Justin's house and was so excited to air fry all of these things. And Justin was like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> and that's my Kieran story. Anyway, fucking, uh, <laughs> I love afterwards. <laughs> Dracula's just sitting like, oh, it fucked up again. And the werewolf comes up like, what, what's happening? And then the fucking brides in the background are like, ah! ah! They're just posing? Again, it's like, did they But get... they're not making sounds. No. They're just like... Is this what you wanted, Steven? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm working on the G.I. Joe script. I can't pay attention. Um, Okay. Crystal, maybe you can explain this to no. me. Maybe you can explain this. You explained a lot of hook. The Friar finds a secret painting. I hated this. Fucking hate it. Makes no fucking sense. I can't explain this shit. Is it magic? I guess it's magic. I magic do doesn't really... No, magic doesn't exist in this world. What are you talking about? There's vampires and That's stuff. That's not magic. Yeah, it is. I, th I think there's magic in this no, world. No, yeah, yeah, because he said they explained his origin. He, like, sold his soul to the devil. So yeah. like That's magic. not magic. Uh, right, okay, then it's religious scripture? I, I don't know. So how did the painting start moving? And why did it only move for him that once? And how did he just randomly find... Like, out of all... This fucking... The dad who knows this area in and out. Yeah. Been staring at this other painting, this other map for so long. Mm -hmm. Didn't know about this random one that the friar just happens to bump into. And what is it? It's two knights fighting and then one turns into a werewolf. One turns into a werewolf, the other one turns into a vampire. Yeah. It's just like, Rawr. 
So stupid. <laughs> uh, but this scares me. Falls. But why? Why? I can yeah. see maybe if it was a painting, and then it had the script or inscription around it, and you read it, and then you understood. There was no reason for it to start fucking moving. Yeah. This movie's stupid, and it's for people who eat popcorn and buy the bullshit that Tony's dad wanted a thing. Because it's 2004, and people like Papa Roach, and who fucking cares what the movie's about? This is my we, last resort. <laughs> so <laughs> we we finally get introduced to the creature. Yeah, and, and, and bless his awful. heart, the actor is trying. Yes. He compared to a lot of other creatures, where it's just rah rah. rah. Well, yeah, because that was the the. The Karloff version is what mm. most people went by, but that's not how he was in the no. modern Prometheus uh, but, story. Yes. Most people make him like that. Yeah. And also... Even so, Tom Noonan in Monster Squad, which I love, yeah. but they still did. The, the problem is with... Um, and everyone who watches Cinemasker probably already knows this, mm. but uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Mm. It's the Bela Lugosi Igor character, yeah. mm -hmm. but they cut out all the scenes where he's talking because he's supposed to have his memories and yeah. stuff for when he was Igor. But they cut it out, which means they also cut out why he's blind. So you mm -hmm. don't know Frankenstein's blind in yeah. that movie, which is why he's doing this. Yes. Yeah, yep. Uh, so people kind of, I guess that was one of the more popular later ones. Mm -hmm. So people have this perception yeah. that the monster does this. So this actor got lucky. He's one of the rare times a creature is allowed to be intelligent and talk. And boy, did he try. He tried. He tried. It's a little too theater in this movie. It's obviously it a Broadway actor playing it is. the part. I he looks like the uh, the Ghostbusters toy, the Frankenstein one, where you pull push the legs together and he goes rah, rah, like he's got that look to him. <laughs> I did. I forgot when they're fighting him and his, <laughs> his head pops his open. His fucking head falls yeah. off and his face falls off like you. Is that why I didn't like it? It was a little too it, too it soon. Triggered me. It triggered you. Yeah, I you get him. triggered easily. I need my safe space. <laughs> Uh, but he tells them, he's like... This you... is why I voted for Jill Stein. <laughs> Fucking, um, she wants him dead. Uh, because he's like, you guys should probably kill me. Uh, I'm the only thing that could bring those babies to life. Yeah. But, but in a rare instance, Van Helsing doesn't want to kill. I like this is like, you could read this as a pro-life movie. Like, this could be one of those, like... <laughs> Those like uh, those anti-abortion movies, <laughs> but done in like the monster universe. Oh fuck! Can we get the Dove Foundation to help us with that? <laughs> did you ever see? Did you ever see Pro Life directed by John Carpenter? Yeah, that's a funny mm -hmm. one. Um, no, no. So Van Helsing. Wait, won't if there's a John Carpenter, does that mean there's a John Plummer and a John Forklift operator? You guys miss me? No, no, <laughs> no. Go, go back to shutting. Up. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, he won't kill him because evil has, evil does not rule him. He doesn't. It was created by evil, which. I don't think it was. I don't know if Frankenstein was trying to be no, evil. He was he trying wasn't. to create life. I guess it was being funded by evil, but I don't think Frankenstein knew that. Really. There's all these scenes of him like laying in the grass and static electricity and then dancing <laughs> with Helena Bonham Carter. No, that's a different one. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a different There's all these scenes of him driving around in an, an advanced supercar. No, that's, and, a, that's also a different oh, one. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's no evil there. And for some reason, Igor is evil, by the way. I also want to ask, well, why the fuck did Igor just be like, not upset that his master's dead and automatically go right no, no. to Dracula. Oh, no, he tells him. He says in the beginning, he's like, yeah, you do this, but uh, he pays better. So it's like literally... Yeah, he, Igor's just an opportunist. Because he's basically Benny. Yeah. But he's not in the movie enough to have that Benny charm. Because Benny's no. great. Mm. Be like Benny. That's what I've heard. I saw an episode <laughs> of a YouTube show about that. <laughs> so Igor was really the only evil aspect in Frankenstein's castle. Yes. Yeah. And uh, fucking Frankenstein is monster is super strong and awesome, and you can knock him out with a blow dart. Yeah, but also like if he's that multiple times, big, if he's that big and weighs that much, how does he fucking drive in a carriage? Like, wouldn't oh, the yeah. wheels fall off? He has an hydraulic leg. Yeah, don't like you, Matthew don't McConaughey, you put, like stuff in that to keep that working. That no, that, it's magic. That runs out of like steam or That's whatever. It's the one from Matthew McConaughey wears in Texas Chainsaw the Next Generation. Yeah. <laughs> but they also yeah. chain him up so does that mean that they also pick him up and throw him in there? Oh yeah, how the fuck did they pick him up? To <laughs> Wait, you're telling me, alright, Hugh Jackman and tiny Kate Beckinsale, they're not lugging that motherfucker up the... <laughs> no. 
You know, no. we keep pointing these things out. I'm starting to think this isn't a very good movie. You know what? It's not a very good movie. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're finally in the story. Yeah. They're going to... Two hours into a two and a half hour long movie and we finally yeah, have Yeah, they have to protect Frankenstein's monster to make sure Dracula doesn't get him. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're going to... Where are they trying to take him? London, I guess? Or, yeah. or no. Where do they go? They go to Budapest or something? No, they go to France. Yeah. Because they go they to go Notre to that, Dame. Yeah. Yes, uh, so they're taking him out of Transylvania, and I like this fake out with the two carriages, mm-hmm. uh, and the brides attack the one carriage, and everything lights on fire. I hated it. This whole thing, everything's flammable in this universe. Yeah, it's almost like Stupid. it's in Malta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the carriages aren't that far apart from each other. because you You're right, they're like not far enough apart. Right across, and also, how does these vampires, like the brides, vampires are supposed to have this amazing scent as well. Wouldn't you be able to tell which carriage they're in? Well, we don't know. What Have you been not watching the last hour and a half? They're fucking idiots. Oh, also, <gasps> we, we forgot to mention when Dracula was fighting Van Helsing, Van Helsing learned all his vampire killing stuff doesn't work on him. Yeah. Because he's like, oh, because he strong. stabs him with silver through the. Yeah. And I like Kate, Be- Kate Beckinsale is just like, yeah, we tried all that. And Van Helsing was like, why didn't you fucking tell me? Like, I like his <laughs> little cane that has a hand on it with a stake. Oh, I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was kind of awesome. Like, I want one of those with, like, a dick in it. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. The carriages aren't far enough apart. No. And they look exactly alike. So, like, yeah. there's a chance they could have gotten the real fucking yeah. Frankenstein. It's not like uh, Road Warrior, mm-hmm. where they send the oil tankers yeah. out, but they're yep. covered with sand, mm-hmm. and the oil was actually cleverly disguised. Like, it's not like that. It's no. just, we have the same carriage. Let's hope they pick the right one. And Kate Beckinsale is the one driving the other one, and they're also after her. So why would they automatically go after I guess that's the one they saw first. She wasn't on her period, so they couldn't sense her. Oh, mm. that's what it was. So uh, they rigged up this carriage. Yes. With these spikes that they tried killing the one vampire with earlier, and it didn't work. She was just able to pull them out. But for some odd reason... Well, maybe it was... It might have been mixed with holy water. They might have had holy water mixed into that. Jessica, she says, oh, no, what yeah. was it? Oh, no, daggers or something like that. She sees them and goes, oh, no, no, no. She she is scared. But I think why would she be scared if she knows they don't kill her? No, no. What I'm saying is I think he has all the daggers, but I think there's holy water mixed in I because it's like a bomb. Jessica, do a freeze frame on the bomb. Let me know if there's holy water mixed in with the daggers. We need to know this. Because that would make sense. That would make sense. However, if it's not, then you're right. This is bullshit and she should not die yeah. on this. It's almost like they just had to get rid of these characters because they're getting close to the they had They saved the redhead one for last. And like I said, oh no, a, an evil redhead. Oh, I've never heard of that before. <laughs> not you. I'm talking about this other girl I met one time. <laughs> yeah. Her name was Crystal with a K. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Did I mention I had Bell's palsy? Oh. The werewolf attacks them. Where? In the scene. Uh, the werewolf attacks. Van Helsing is able to kill the werewolf, which, you know, makes Kate back and sale sad. But then he it wasn't cloudy that that night. Wait, is this also <laughs> another full moon? Another night? Because this is no, it's story of the day. Same. Again, it's story of the overkill. What are the rules? <laughs> oh, oh, and that's what I wanted to talk about. This is a prequel to Twister. <laughs> Wait, so this is story of the day, this part? Yes. Well, it's like day going on night yeah but this is the next day right yes but it would it, this wouldn't be a full moon then if it's the next day it doesn't matter doesn't matter it's fucking stupid yeah. and poor writing what i want to know is why was the first werewolf like a million feet high and then this one's like a normal man size and then the werewolf coming up is also a giant like why did this werewolf why was he why was he like the newt of werewolves where the other ones were you giant werewolves? super awesome no and handsome no very and tiny like a fucking moose <laughs> But yes, Van Helsing is, uh, he gets cut and he's going to be a werewolf. Yeah. He's, but, but not until the full moon, which I guess isn't happening now, even though there's a werewolf about. He's like, oh, thank God I have plot armor on. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, they dress Carl like the hunchback, which is okay. And it leads to a scene I actually like the, 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 uh, the Phantom of the Opera looking scene mm. is actually kind of beautiful. It oh, remi- yeah, because Kate Beckinsale gets kidnapped. Yes. yes. It yes. reminds me of the As the World Falls Down scene in The Labyrinth mm-hmm. that uh, Gates yeah. McFadden uh, did the dance choreography for that with David Bowie. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, they, this they, scene is awesome. Yeah. But I also have questions in it. This oh, scene, yeah. This scene is cool. Wait, uh, is this when they find the, the Strom... 
the Brom Sprungfeld style uh, parchment from Hold the, on. the Simpsons? Mm, or is that later? No. Hold on, no, one did second. Did we get to that part yet? I don't no, know. We didn't no, get, no, we didn't. But I was like, wait. No, no, we did not. We, we didn't, didn't get to that part. Like, did they rip off the Simpsons? Save that for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come so uh, they dress what's his face up like a jester. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do like the reveal where they're like, there's all these vampires dancing and then yeah. you see the mirror and it's just her. I that was kind of cool. I do like that. So the set looks really cool and everything. And then <sighs> camera zooms out and they digitally enhance the set to be bigger. Yeah. And there's just trapeze artists. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then Hugh Jackman switches with one of them, and then he's on an awful blue screen like this. <laughs> he's fighting. So, I, <laughs> so there was I was I was eating uh, buffalo mac and cheese from Wawa. Yes, and I just kept like laughing because I forgot about so much of this, and I spit buffalo mac and cheese on my screen several times, and I was like, oh no. <sighs> All right, so I have the question that they have. There's vampire children in this because one has a line, which is very odd and awkward. Master, master, look, master, look. I think that is a reference, and what we did in the shadows, I also did this. Mm. I think that's a reference to Interview with the Vampire. That's yeah. fine. That's a reference, but now all of a sudden, so vampires can reproduce and have children? No, I think though. No, no, no. Those are kids that were turned, turned vampires, vampires as kids, yeah. so they are forever kids. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's yeah, what happened in interview. That. That's a uh, Kirsten Dunst's character yeah. in Interview with Vampire. That's why she's like uh, crazy because ew. she'll be forever a kid. Okay, that would make more sense. Yeah, I I haven't seen that movie in a really really long time. I haven't either. Um, you know I, what I, I watch? Wanna... You know what I watched recently? Queen of that, the Damned. Yeah, me and Johanna want to review it. I, I watch Queen. That's of the got Damned. a great fucking soundtrack. I do. Yes, it does. And has a Leah in it. Yeah. Ooh. So I like Dracula's like I give you Van Helsing. And it's the the, the horns are from uh Symphony of the Night. Really? I I asked Ryan that and I showed him the scene and he's like, Oh, that's definitely from Symphony of the Night. And then he showed Mike today mm-hmm. we were filming Talk About Games. Subscribe to Talk About Games. Yes. Uh and he said that's from Symphony of the Night as well. Now, if you came in and asked me if it was from Symphony of the Night, mm-hmm. I would have said, Newt, I'm a fucking adult. Get out of my goddamn office. And then he'd say, Hold on, come back. I want to show you my McFarlane. Uh, my McFarlane, uh, 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 what, what does he have in there? Hey, look at my McFarlane Jack the Ripper yeah, from look the at my Six Ma- Faces look of at my Look at my McFarlane Spawn figures that I was given by my good friend Joe from hey, Movie Dumpster. Hey, my good Dumpster. friend Joe gave me really good McFarlane Spawn <laughs> figures, you asshole. Spawn got, is for adults! Yeah, we sh- you should, uh, YouTube search, uh, Alien 3. I was in The Dark Knight Rises. So I think they kill all the vampires with a white light bomb. Yeah. And n- the Notre Dame is destroyed? Or da- heavily damaged? Stupid. Caught on fire. I mean in the movie. Yes, it did. Oh, get oh. <laughs> I like that nobody cares about the rainforest, but the, the church in the cartoon you like catches on fire and let's stop the world. No, you know what it is? It's chicks who watch the fucking Disney Hunchback. Yeah. That's why they care. I've never seen that one. It's bad. I've heard it's good. No, it, it could have been good. But then they added the gargoyles. I heard about, yeah, Justin told me about the gargoyles. So it makes the character look like he's insane. So well, that it becomes bad. He's got a like hydrocephalic. But head, then, man. but then one of the gargoyles is Jason Alexander, so it gets kind of good again. I like anyway, back. Uh, this is the scene where they go back. They they've escaped everything. Mm-hmm. She looked good in that dress, by the way. The red dress. Yeah. Yes. She uh, did, but then all of a sudden she goes right back to the other outfit. Well, she's got a. Look, where did the, she one get the, that outfit back? Because wouldn't he? He's the one that put her in it because she got. She was under like. Oh, she has multiples of the outfit, I guess. That's what I'm curious. She's like Ronald McDonald. All all, all right. So I can understand the other two having the same costume, what Mm our outfit back on, because Mm -hmm. they probably took it off, blah, blah, blah. But for her, she was under like a hypnosis by him, and they had to wake her up. Mm -hmm. How does she know? I have a question. When you finish your anecdote, go ahead. How does it feel to be a puppet on my string? You interrupt me for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's very important. You're right, though. You didn't answer my question. You're right, though. It's weird I she gets basically the same outfit. Uh, same but, as Zach, and, and, and it also, looks good. I love how no it's dirt, like, not rips or anything no. after doing all this fighting. I also love that it's like, oh, I got to take this dress off. It's so impractical. Let me put a tight ass corset where I can't bend my yeah. spine mm-hmm. and not my giant heels. That part. That part. <laughs> I have those types of boots and everything. Mm. They hurt after a while. This bitch has been in those heels this entire movie, which I'm guessing is oh, dude, about all... three days. I already know 
It bothers me for almost every fucking movie that happens. Like, look at fucking Wonder Woman. Don't understand it. Yeah, most most it, people do not understand. It's really hard to fight in heels and to walk in heels all day long. Heels are fucking stupid. Why do you girls wear guys them? Guys were actually the first ones to ever actually. Guys invented. Yeah, heels. Yeah, we we talked about Men this, and we were them. like, we were like, this is a terrible idea. Why did you guys fall for that scam? Why are you still falling for that scam? It makes her asses and legs look great. Because of that her. much better. Because like it does. I Throw on a pair of heels, Tony. Your ass look, and look, legs look. are gonna look great. I will. I will deal with a slightly less good ass if I never have to hear a chick bitch about heels again for the and I think every guy would agree with me. What do you think? Go ahead. He's I, afraid to answer. I like heels. You do like heels. <laughs> yeah, I know I you do. Like, I heels. like heels. I know. I don't yeah. mind heels. It's just all the complaining that comes but I, with them. I, and it's like stop wearing them. And like, I've I like mostly them? been with women who are way taller than me without heels, and then they put heels on, and I look like they should all be wearing me in a baby Bjorn when we go out places. So <laughs> people think it's really weird. When Newt, we do, yeah. yeah. There's a thing called like a. I think it's called like a giant fetish. Yeah. You want you want to look into that? Death Ooh. by snoo snoo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. This is where, after her wardrobe change, yeah. they're like, the map, my father studied the map to figure out where he was. And then they're like, oh, wait, the map is a doorway. And it was literally the map. He had to fix this map. And then it turns out the Vatican had a piece of the corner of it for some and reason. I need someone to explain that to me because I was like, I, I definitely lost it. And I forgot who gave that to the corner. In the beginning, the, the yeah. cardinal gave him. Yeah. I think it was given to them when, like, Dracula became a thing. Yeah. Because they have people out who are investigating, like, supernatural and anti-church bar- why bullshit. why was it ripped off and given to someone? I why? don't know. I guess it, oh, no, you know why? Because they saw Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade, and they go, oh, we have this one piece of the parchment. Yes. The, the knight's shield. Yes. That's don't it. Don't you think you would have saved whatever lo- way long ago if you left that fucking this piece movie on the map is stupid yeah i it, don't understand and, and I, we're at a point now off. in the movie where like i i honestly like lost track of what was going on oh, uh, i'll explain it. they they load a lot of exposition yeah so we forgot to mention um the the creature has been kidnapped mm-hmm. uh the vatican wants him dead yeah after they said, hey, yeah. Jack Human, don't kill the monsters. But then they were like, oh, he has no soul. You can kill him. And then Hugh Jackman's like, this is the one monster I'm suddenly going to care about. Well, because he keeps quoting scripture. Yeah. But then you find out. Oh, yeah. He quote. Oh, God. Jessica yeah. cuts to the clip of him doing the Valley of Shadow of Death. It's so cringe. Though I walk through the Valley of the Shadow of Death, I shall fear no evil. Now that we've experienced that. Uh, we also find out that what was it? Uh, Kate Beckinsale's great, 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 great ancestor was Dracula's father. Yes, I believe. And then Van Helsing killed Dracula, mm-hmm. which then Dracula sold his soul to the devil to come back. So the, the, I thought he stabbed a cross with a sword and it bled. That's a different movie. Oh, uh, and I guess. Like th- I thought he was Jonathan Lipnicki. No. Oh. Uh, so I guess the whole thing is the I original he was Frank Langella. Just shut up. <laughs> the patriarch of the family, I guess, was like, I-, I can't kill my own son. One of my family members has to do it. It's like, well, that's fucking stupid. So they're all related. Yes, and then we find out for some reason uh, when they go. Oh, oh, we're about to find out. But yeah. hold on, they fix the thing and they go through the Stargate. And they find Dracula's castle. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's like a giant house that's haunted over on a hill there yonder. Um, and they they confront Benny. Yeah, who explains to them like the whole werewolf thing or Frankenstein. That only a werewolf can kill. Yes. a vampire. so only a werewolf can kill a vampire, Which, and that's why Dracula keeps the werewolves close. Yeah, because so. in Underworld, it was the werewolves were the daytime protectors. Yes. of the vampires. Sure, I don't remember yeah. Underworld that much. Uh, but they realize they're like, oh, Dracula must have a cure for werewolfism, and Frank. And at this point, too, you're also seeing Jack or um, Jack Human. <laughs> you see him starting to turn into a werewolf as well. He slowly, he's slowly, turning. and he's like getting this anger. So he yeah. knows it's going to happen. They know the full moon's about to happen, and what was it? They said two or three days. Yeah. Even though it just. Fucking it happened. Just happened twice <laughs> well, the in earth, the past week. The Earth is spinning really fast. <laughs> yes, and that how moon cycles work. In, in uh, it did a couple hundred years ago. Yeah. 
No. Yeah, the no, moon. That would make literally no, no. sense either. No, Mag- Crystal, the moon was faster back then. Magellan wrote about it. Yes. Uh, Learn your history. Uh, <laughs> so the, the needles kept in an orb full of acid? Which is so fucking that's stupid. That's so stupid. That's like a fucking video game. Like, that's Ocarina of Time it might bullshit. might be in the video game. I haven't played it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> um. Yeah, so they're all going on their different adventures. And we get the classic, like, hero fights the male villain and lady fights, fights the, the lady female villain. villain, which... Like a James Bond stupid. movie. No, it's... Well, I, I did it in my senior thesis. The, the, the hero was racing the bad guy. On while, getting on the slide? Yes, while the hero's girlfriend was fighting the bad guy's girlfriend. Sliding on the get. But we get the added bonus... Of comic relief versus comic relief, because fucking Carl chases Benny. Except neither one of them is funny. Nope. And I wish they would all die. Yes. Not their characters, the actors, after watching this movie. (laughs) And uh, Frankenstein's monster decides to help, and he's terrible. Yeah. He's (sighs) fucking awful. They rescue him from the machine. Yeah. Oh, because they... Turns out Frankenstein's castle was just a, a couple of their eggs, I yeah. guess. Mm-hmm. They have even more eggs. Thousands, Thousands. of eggs. Gremlin style. <sighs> Gremlins 2, the new batch. So everything goes to shit. I like Gremlins 2. Uh, Gremlins 2 is way yeah. better. Really like yeah. They're dropping those little little henchmen into like the so vats of chemicals. I like that the one doesn't. Why is that there? Wait, I like that the one doesn't hit the chemicals. He hits the side of the thing, and I was like, oh, that poor little stunt man. <laughs> the- but that that you just see, there's <laughs> probably like a fucking grip going like just pitching a dude and he's like by Warwick Davis. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> <laughs> that was Eric the actor. That was not Warwick Davis. <laughs> All right, fine. It was who's the other who's Minnie Ming? Uh, Vern uh, Troyer. Vern yeah. Troyer. And he's just like you know. <laughs> Can we talk about fucking Igor's death? Oh yeah. He gets thrown off the bridge and he's like. Uh, so <laughs> what the fuck was that? Stupid. What was Igor's deal? Why was he so weird? We finally get the werewolf versus vampire fight. Which should be awesome. It's okay. You put Mortal Kombat Annihilation. It's not that bad. I no. thought it was pretty bad. But it, it's pretty bad. Dracula's form is terrible. We just yeah. totally skipped over Kate Beckinsale swinging on no, a no, rope. No, no, this is, this is oh, coming. This is this is that? Okay, okay, they're, right. they're cutting back I'm, and forth. That's, okay, that's right. Yeah. So they start to fight. And again, Hugh Jackman, I'm he is a black. at this point. Yeah, he is a, he's a black werewolf with long hair and he's a giant. Yeah. For some reason, her brother was the only one that wasn't a giant. But yes, you're yeah. right. Kate Beckinsale has to take care of Lady Vampire. This was the, not the stupidest part of the movie. But, it but was it's up, up there. there. I don't know. We, we did talk about the trapeze scene. I think that's the toughest part, but keep going. No, no. No. Oh no! The dumbest no. part is coming up. Yeah. Oh no! The dumbest going, part is yeah. coming up. Keep going! Yes. Keep going! Keep going! Keep so going. she just happens to find the just like that that of acid or whatever just happens to be there. There happens to be another rope that she gets to swing, and uh, Q throws the <laughs> fucking antidote up to her, and she just catches it no problem, perfectly. Yeah. And just she goes. Uh, she also falls. Oh yeah. She, oh yeah. She, she falls a lot. This part. Really pissed me off. You, something coming up. You messaged me like angrily, like multiple times though. I don't I'm like, know. why is this movie still on? I should yeah. be asleep right now. This is shitty. She falls so fucking hard on these rocks that yeah. it should have killed well, her. Well, it's Marvel movies where yeah. concussions yeah. don't exist, yeah. compound exist. fractures don't exist, and she falls so fucking hard, but she gets up and still kicks ass and still looks great. Oh, it's also mm. raining, by the way. I, I do. And it's also, this is very important, though. It is downpouring. I do Just like, like it does multiple other times in the movie. It randomly is raining, and it is randomly not raining. I do and like a wet, a wet, heaving-chested Kate Beckinsale did make the scene more tolerable. It, it did. did. Yeah. But there's many times where it's raining, and it's not raining. Mm. Uh, but yeah, she faces off against the last remaining bride. And how does she kill her? By ripping off the good, bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Because the bride is like, I'm going to do this and blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And then she just stabs her. I think if you're going to kill someone, kill them. Don't stand there talking about it. Maybe yeah. you should have. Uh, if you're going to kill someone, just kill them. Don't talk, talk about, about it. it. Mm-hmm. But in, um, what you call it? Good, the bad, and the ugly is like next time just shoot someone. Yeah. Don't talk. Yep. And then it's she turns just in- that scene. Yeah. But then she turns into like mold. 
Yeah, that was weird. She's they all, like, they die, all die differently. Yeah. And it's dumb. Yeah. Uh, so they're fucking Hugh Jackman and Dracula are fighting. At some point, they turn back to people again. Yeah. I guess. I guess the cloud goes by the moon. That's what it was. But that's what I. That's why I made sure I said it's fucking raining outside. It is downpouring. Right. It is. 100% raining. There is no way a moon would just already be out. Yeah. So that entire time they were fighting, the moon was out, well, but it this, was downpouring. On. This could take place on planet Transylvania, like in Rocky Horror Picture Show. They did go through a portal. They did go through a portal. What if this is the prequel to the Rocky Horror Picture Show? <laughs> Dude, this is not a prequel to How the Rocky How do you know that? I know for a Hugh fact. Hugh Jackman is a song and dance man on Broadway. As was Tim Curry. That's true. But listen. Frankenfurter, it's no, all no, no, over. No, no, no. You missed Stop talking. Is a Stop fail. Stop He's it. very excited <laughs> to be in a video again. I know. It's my fav- one of my favorite fucking movies. Please. So I wanted to know about a past because they kept talking about it through the entire movie. You think you're going to learn about his past, but you still don't. And I want to know why he has Dracula's ring. They were saving it for Van Helsing origin. Yeah. <laughs> that was going to be the point. When there's going to be so CGI random. rings. Like, That's right. Yeah, he has so Dracula's ring. That yeah. he, he, and he's always had it. How do you not know where this random ring on your hand but remember, comes? I know where all my rings have came from. They I, might not even know. This might be like Ray, where they didn't even have yeah. an answer. They planted it for later. No, Van Helsing's parents were junk dealers who sold Van Helsing <laughs> oh, no, no, for no. drinking money. Van Helsing's parents were the devil, I yeah. guess, in this universe. <laughs> I have, uh, so one of my favorite movies, and not even like in an ironic way, is Al Adamson's Dracula versus Frankenstein. Oh, yes. How yes. many times? I used to have a 35 millimeter yep. print of it. Yeah. I would run it constantly. He I was good. on. Is that the one with Russ Hamlin? Yes. yes. But in that, Dracula has like a Green Lantern ring, and I have a prop of that ring, and it's so it's fucking awesome. Oh, is it your house? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I thought I, I lost it. it. Nope. But when uh, it sits on my uh, vanity, every oh, time I put makeup on, I look at it. You didn't give it back. No. We filmed something at uh, Chapman Production Studios, and I couldn't find it ever since then. And I was like, oh, I'm sure it's in a makeup bag or somewhere. No, it's but at you my, have it's it. It's been at my house. Yeah. Yeah. Could, Could we do Dracula versus Frankenstein instead love of this? That. Yes, That's I, when I was supposed to be on Comic Book Man, and you were with me. I was, I think I was supposed to be only with you. I yeah. think that movie's free on YouTube. We can do it too. Okay, on it. I love that movie. Mm-hmm. So listen, um, <laughs> you're right. So Kate Beckinsale fell, broke every bone in her body, and was yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> but then she gets pushed the werewolf. Uh, Van Helsing murders Dracula, mm-hmm. rips his throat out, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, she shows up, and the werewolf is like, "I hate you, woman." Uh, but she stabs him with the the serum, but mm-hmm. but he injures her too poorly. He literally just like swats her. Yeah, he doesn't. Eat, yeah, yeah. And which which dead. in any other movie, I'm like, all right, that killed her, but not after what we saw her fucking no. go through. That, and she dies like this. Yeah, and, wow. then, and then he howls at the moon. Oh my god! Couch. And his hair falls off. Yeah, and he turns back into a guy. He's like, ah, as he's which, holding her. Do you know how we've done like manscape ads and stuff like that? If we get like a keeps ad and we just roll that scene in reverse, and that's <laughs> our ad <laughs> for male hair growth, like that'd be amazing. So I was actually when I first saw this, I did not expect them to kill her. No. I She's thought, like, I'm already in a fucking vampire werewolf bullshit. That might have been another yeah. thing. Like, her agent might have been like, hey, I got in trouble for putting you in two of these. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the, the under, they're not going to do Underworld. You got to. They replaced uh, her with uh, the actress. Rona from, Mitra. Who I like way more. Uh, she was in Doomsday. Yes. Doomsday is she, fucking awesome. In Supergirl, she is Mercy Graves, I think. I always thought when she was younger, she would have been a really good Lara Croft. Yeah, it would yeah. have been good. Mm-hmm. Now well, it's the uh, Agent Carter is Lara Croft. In the video games. Oh, I, I thought it was in the movie. No, 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 no. Oh. I, they're planning on doing a sequel with What's-Her-Face. Really? Uh, Alicia Vikander, yeah. That first one was good. That first one was it, Alicia Nobody Vick- saw it. No. Nobody saw it, but I, I guess it did okay enough that they're doing and a sequel. Really? Which Cradle of Life Tomb Raider had Gerard Butler, who was Dracula 2000. That's true. Oh, God, Dracula 2000. Where Dracula was actually Pontius Pilate. Yes. Despite the fact that the vampire myth way predates yeah. Jesus Christ. It but, does. Yeah. Uh, it really does. Uh, so they're very, everyone's very sad. Yeah. And they have a funeral for her. At the sea. 
at the sea. They finally take her to the sea. This is the stupidest part. This scene is so, like, this was a comedy scene, right? Like, this was made for a comedy movie? Like, at the end yes. of Billy Madison? Yeah. yeah. There yeah. are movies, old movies. No, where Happy some... Gilmore. The end of Happy Gilmore. Yeah, yeah that's where they wave yeah. Lincoln and, like... Yeah. There are like old movies, I think, where someone's dead and you see their face in the clouds. That was like a trope. And I guess it's a callback to that. But it's fun. first you see her with her brother and her dad. And they're like, oh, yeah. And then it's just her face. This it was, was a straight up Teletubbies moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't and need the Teletubbies time, it was in weird when Helsing. They, it was weird when they replaced her brother with Hayden Christensen, though. I don't know why they did that. <laughs> the whole time, Hayden, uh, Hayden, Hugh Jackman's just like, oh. And then she cries. This, that was so stupid. That was so stupid. <laughs> and I'm just like, do you know though when he was uh, when he turns back into uh, Jack Human, mm. um, he was supposed to be completely naked and holding her. Yeah. And the director was like, maybe that's not the best thing to do here. No. But I think her it should have been. Wasn't naked either. He also would switch. I, I, well, watching it, I was like, oh, he would actually have been a pretty good Tarzan. Yeah, because yeah. they did it with the dude from True Blood. Yes, and nobody saw. No it one saw that with uh, Margot Robbie. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Nobody cares about those kind of stories anymore. No. Like, I mean, I mean, they're good and everything, they but are. like modern audiences aren't gonna. They, they try to they do like King Arthur. Yeah, they tried to do a Robin Hood recently. It's like it's not gonna work. They did like seven Robin Hoods. Yeah. There was the one that Guy Ritchie did. There was the one that Ridley Scott did. Yeah, and then I'm sure there was five more to make seven. Yeah, no, no. Guy Ritchie did King, King Arthur. Arthur. Yeah. But yeah, they they try to do it because it's a free intellectual property. But it's like it's you have so much to choose from. It's going to be hard to get a new audience out mm. there. Yeah. And same thing with like you know Dracula and werewolves. You got a lot to choose from. I, okay. So yeah, I, hold on. So I've had an idea for years. All right. Mm -hmm. You know how like there's those Russian gazillionaires that like build like I'm going to make a full replica of the Ark. Yes. Wouldn't it be awesome if they did one where like there was a Russian gazillionaire and he went and he caught all the monsters and he made like a mad monster party for himself and then they get out and it would be like that you know speaking of another monster mash yeah uh, this, is, smash. This, this is an older one but on patreon to be tuesday i reviewed uh monster brawl i like that movie where, where a rich guy gets a lot of monsters yeah. and yes. makes them wrestle that yep. one's pretty funny uh so check that out did check i ever out tell you my japan sylvania idea yes you have I want to know about the Van Helsing uh, Netflix uh, thing. I kept seeing there's like five seasons. I it's think it's not related. Five, it's, it's not, not related not. to this. No, there's a whole bunch of Van Helsing movies. I didn't. Yeah, realize. because it's Dracula's public free. domain. Yeah. I didn't realize when I was looking it up. I'm like, am I watching the right one? Because this is really bad. Oh, because you I sent me a picture. Met, I yeah. sent you a picture. I'm like, am I watching the real one? Well, when, it can't be this real. This bad. The weird thing is, like Van Helsing. Like, there's a thousand. He was a doc. Like I'm reading yeah. the book right now. He, He's just a doctor that kind of. Helped kill that one vampire. He's not the main but vampire he, hunter. He's not a well. He's not a vampire hunter. Yeah. No. He's a dog. Yeah. He's a dog. By the way, none of them they they hunted that vampire, yeah. but they were not, not known vampire no. hunters. And well, also, I do love I do love in uh the TV show what we do in the shadows. Uh, Guillermo, he's the descent of the Van Helsing, yeah. so he could just kill vampires easily. I had an idea though for a pop group called the Van Helsing Singers, and they were a cover for vampire hunters from history <laughs> and they were like the monkeys meets yeah. the scooby-doo gang you guys say what i say is stupid i <laughs> thought my idea was great anyway yeah i don't know where this trend came with wanting van helsing to be a vampire hunter maybe it was this i don't know but he's not even a vampire hunter in this because he's just a he, monster hunter did, he's a monster hunter but did he know what a vampire was before this yeah no no because he said he brought all those tools to kill yeah. the vampire and you see there's tons of vampires it's well, just why is q then I like how we're calling him Q. Uh, it's just like handing him and telling them what they are and how to kill a vampire. Because he's like, here, try this. This will work. Try for, this. This will work. He's for the audience. Yeah. It's dumb. As as if you know Hugh Jackman better, doesn't know. You know who's better at hunting vampires? Cool. Our friend at Vampa. He is very good. Watch the Vampa video <gasps> yes. for great. hunting vampires. That was really good. Um... Yeah, so you're right. There is a Van Helsing series. I don't know if it's good. Um, there's five seasons of it, so it has to be Decent, well, I mean, there's, right? there's five seasons. There's multiple seasons of a lot of bad shows. Yeah. Uh, In my Sharkula script, I gave, I pulled all, because I've read Dracula several times. Yeah. I pulled a bunch of lines that Van Helsing says in that, and I just used them for the <laughs> vampire hunter in that. Uh, Van Helsing showed up in Mummy Cop season two. 
when the bad guy, Lisa Canoli, is giving birth, uh, OBGYN Helsing shows up. <laughs> and it's literally a guy in scrubs, but with a big crucifix and a brim hat. And he's just the well, OBGYN. They, they make it out that Anthony Hopkins knows what a vampire is in Bram Stoker's Dracula, too. Yeah, but he's not a vampire. Like, yeah. that wasn't his day job. Mm-hmm. So it's weird that they... It, it's weird they made Van Helsing, like, this super secret ninja vampire hunter monster killer. When before, he was just like... Yeah, I know a lot about blood, I guess. Even though a lot of the medicine in Dracula is very dated. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to put some blood in her. It's like, yeah, well, you know, there's types. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, Van Helsing. is bad. Stupid. It's bad. It made a ton of money, but based on what they were trying on to. On DVD. Yeah, it made a shit ton of money on DVD. But like, it made like $300 million, but based on how they were pushing it, what their plans were, it just, it did not meet expectations. Uh, I never played the game. I think, is this the one? It's either this or Chronicles of Riddick, where the movie was terrible, but apparently the game was really, really, really good. Uh, that also happened with X-Men Origins. Apparently the X-Men Origins yeah. game was great. And Mark Hamill was the voice of Wolverine. In that one? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. He's done a lot of voices in a lot of video games. Did yeah. You know that he was the Joker? Yes, I think we're all aware he was the Joker. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that, that was it for Van Helsing. It's a letdown. You know, this would be a good introduction for kids. I mean, uh, if you I were had a kid when you watched it, you hated it. I mean, for like young kids who who aren't allowed to watch like sir, like I don't count. My mom showed me Bram Stoker, yeah. the Gary Oldman one when I, I was like theater. four or three. Yeah. So I don't fit into this category. But like like a parent that's more careful about what their kid watches, but maybe they like monsters. This I would, would be a show kids one. Abbott and Costello movies where they meet the monsters. But if they're like oh, that's too old and stupid, fun. if they like action. A, a, if they're a stupid, stupid kid, show them this. Yeah. Like, like a, like a, like if you hate your kid, yes. Yeah, but like yeah, a yeah. six to ten year old would probably see this and be like, "That's fun, whatever." I'm Where, gonna dab in Fortnite yeah. now. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> How come Van Helsing does in Fortnite? I think I, I dated a girl at a real young brother, and I remember she put this on for him, and he like really liked it. So I, I can see this being a good introduction for kids who aren't ready for extreme. Because I saw the Hammer movies really young. Yeah, again, yeah. we don't care. I'm no, not describing There's us so as kids. so many other better movies to introduce kids into horror. Yeah, but if they're like too scared, if they want more action. Well, and you, and that's when you say quit being a fucking No, because pussy. I think that they would be scared at the fact that Dracula with him, just the uh, the first scene of him killing Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, but it's I done think in, that might be too scary. It's done in shadows, ones. though. Yeah. So. No, it's not. You see his teeth. Oh, you, you see, see his the teeth. Werewolves. But it looks stupid. Yeah. I like think it, the vampire. Way, I think that if you're really thinking, no, I don't. I don't. I kind of. I said. I think I said this in my Tomb Raider review, where like oh, if I you have see that one, yeah. But like if you if you had like a young like daughter or whatever, you wanted to get her into like sci-fi and adventure. That's probably a good one because it's it's kind of dumb, but you can follow it and it's fun. I had a girlfriend who I'm not. I'm really uh, wanted to get into. I wanted to get her into Star Trek. Yeah. So I showed her Star Trek 09. Yeah. I think that's the best one to show girls if you want to get them. A hundred percent. It's worked every single time. That was originally before we started doing this show. That was the idea you wanted to do for Crystal and I was I show you Star Trek 09. <laughs> that's right. I, forgot I think that's that. the movie that broke up Justin and his ex-wife too. That's the last thing they saw before they stopped. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a fun time watching that movie. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. Tony gives great dating advice, guys. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. Uh yeah, so it did episode. not it did not live Galaxy up to the Galaxy Quest. Quest. Basically it's a Star Trek episode. Yeah. You like know what Trek guys? Episode. You know what guys? Yes, Tony. Roger Ebert calls it spectacular. He's a goddamn liar. He didn't have a chin. Here we go. No, th- at this point he did. Oh. Here, here's the back. Hold on. Legendary monster hunter Van Helsing only ever helped assist in the hunting of one monster yeah, that we know of is summoned to mysterious Transylvania on a mission that will thrust him into a sweeping battle against the forces of darkness with nonstop action and electrifying special effects. Van Helsing is an adrenaline pa- uh, powered motion picture event. Roger Ebert calls spectacular. I wager a bet that Va- his review of Van Helsing is like, it's got spectacular uh, it's got special electricity effects, in it. but it's not that good of a move because they don't say what his star rating and is. And they're like, Roger, what did you say? Because he didn't have a chin. But n- <laughs> fucking Jeffrey Lyons from NBC TV. Fuck Jeffrey Lyons. One of the most visually thrilling movies ever made. <laughs> not just of the year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, Since y- 2004. Y- oh, wait, wait, wait. 
they have a second Jeffrey Lyons fucking quote. <laughs> Nonstop action, a breathtaking thrill ride. Universal bought me a boat. Je- Jeffrey Lyons is real easy to please. Holy shit. Since 2004, there was, or like 2004 and b- before, yeah, nothing who, yeah. as. Yeah. Fuck your Star Wars, your Metropolis, your Fantasia. Go fuck oh yourself. It's all yeah. about Van Helsing. And like I said, if you subscribe to Patreon, I will put a review of this up, the London assignment. Maybe, you know what, guys, you should watch my review. Maybe you weren't introduced into the world properly. And once you see this, you're like, okay, now I understand the character and his journey a little bit better. And also Q dresses up as a lady in it. That's funny. It's like Wild Wild West where putting Will Smith in a dress is funny. Yes. And and Queen Victoria's in it. And if I find it, I will also put a review up for the comic, but I have to find it. It's somewhere. And that is it from us. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check out our podcast feed for the voicemail segment at the end. Check out the other podcasts we've been producing. Anyway, that's it from us. I can't wait to do more spooky movies. Let's have the Van Helsen theme play us out. Okay. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talking about tapes.